Bonsoir. Hi. Oh, yeah. um, welcome to section session six. Section six. Session six of uh, Throne Top Sands. Um, what are we doing? Like I've, I did this last session. I'm gonna be doing this every session where I just uh, shout out subscribers and uh, Patreons. And if there's anything new, oh, there's Thick Rocky. <laughs> um, and also mention if there's anything new that's been added to the stream. Um, for this session. Hello everyone that's in chat, sorry if I, we don't um, say hello to everyone uh, or um, I don't like or anyone doesn't respond to everyone in chat we because we're playing D&D it's kind of hard to focus every now and then in chat but hopefully you enjoy your time on the sunset rail and and you feel like you're being engaged. Um, let me get the list of subscribers and patrons and I'll go off the list. Um, thank you, Lady Q, DM Shanks, uh, who will be our special guest for today. Um, Piper, Matthew Lataki, my name is Taken233, Phalaranks, Scientist Sam, who is loved by boy. Uh, Piper is also um, Rocky. I'm a bisexual, Vic Straws, Nugget is the Bridge, Cherry Bombette, Poison Darth Frog, EOSK13, S sorry, Sman Sam, Crombrax, I mean, Crom Crombax, um, Mur. Mercurica, I had to practice that before the stream and I still fucked up. Fast Cat Miles, uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Oh, thank you for the follow, Dan. Um, and thank you, Nugget, uh, Jacob, and Beth for pledging to our Patreon. If you want to also be uh, included in this list and get some cool stuff like hanging out with us and preparing future sessions, or um, getting token art, map art, or even um, my DM notes. Uh, you can join our Patreon or subscribe and join our secret Discord. Here is the Patreon. Um, also, uh, we've added a thing called Chaos Initiative, which um, is basically uh, when um, the session gets a bit too chaotic. Um, when the session gets a bit too chaotic and um, everyone's talking over each other. Uh, they uh, as players can invoke a chaos initiative but also as chat you guys can if it feels like it's getting too confusing and basically everyone rolls a charisma uh, role and that will be their um, role play initiative and they'll role play in that order to make it a bit smoother when conversing as a big group um, third thing if uh, if you'd like to um, if you go to your uh, your own twitches and if you do the slash host command and host a channel that's greatly appreciated it bumps us up in the um the viewership ladder and we get to meet more people and get to share this adventure with more people if you want to host us um and if you do that's greatly appreciated thank you i uh, will be starting in a hot sec bye
Hi there, my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means little seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born the connection to spirits, fire spirits especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm traveling with my friend Lucera. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lucera Show, and I'm a pardon in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Ronslau. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document a plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the light of the garden slowly reach inside of me terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence and have it taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose and to whom I owe my existence, thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me, and I know they'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
I had no plan attention. But... Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome everyone. Hi. <laughs> hi. Can we say hi yet? Hi. You can uh, say hi. I am gonna hide Hello. something. It's already spoiled. I'm gonna quickly hide it. Wait, hide what? Oh, there Don't you worry. go. The spoiler. There. Oh what no, it's in the way. It's not a spoiler, it's fine. Why do you want to hide it? Don't worry about it, it's, it's, don't worry about it, we don't need it yet. We'll need it in a hot second, because uh. I forgot to mention. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start the session off uh, with... <laughs> we're going to start the session off with uh, a retcon from last session, because I forgot to ask about um, Lucero's attunement to Bill Race, uh, the big piece of scissors, the scissors that she pulled, or they pulled from the World Weave. Um, uh, there's no one special here, you're right, Shanks. Um, I was going to say another thing. Uh, I'll recap the session in a hot sec as well because it's. I think it's been a month since we last played. And uh, Fal, uh, Chaos Initiative, what that is, is um, when it gets a bit too chaotic, uh, if you just, if you uh, use the Chaos Initiative uh, roll, you will be able to um, get everyone to roll a Charisma check and that will basically become their roleplay initiative order so that it's a bit less chaotic when everyone's talking over because they won't be talking over each other um another thing is uh, i added it's your turn to roll um as a channel point redemption oh thanks jacob I got you. <laughs> thanks. uh basically whenever i need to roll a dice uh for the next i think 10 minutes you guys oh this shouldn't be on the playlist interesting this spot's i don't like this spot at all i've added a new rhythm bar and not rhythm bar music bar and i, I hate it I'm getting rid of it. I'll get my other one in. If I um if I cut out every now and then please let me know. It won't be a problem. Um but yeah, uh if I need to roll a dice uh chat you can use the D20 D8 D uh the dice commands basically to roll for me and I'll I'll read them out in the order that they're rolled. Um when I need to roll a certain dice, I'll mention oh I need a D8 uh, for this uh, encounter, blah blah blah. But if you want to roll a bunch of d20s right now, uh, I'll, I'll keep a whole, I'll keep an eye on those. Um, ba, 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 ba. Can I roll? You guys could roll as well, but I, I, yeah, you guys can roll. You would, it wouldn't be cheating if you guys roll for me. It just said, said that it was in cooldown. I haven't even clicked it. It's in five. It, there's a five second cooldown on it. So if someone oh, else has rolled it, people using it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. I have the power. Chaos Initiative. I like the eye on it. Mm, that's uh, that's because of last session with um with Kiko. Uh, every not Kiko, sorry, um Kira. Well, you guys don't know her name yet. Uh, but when uh, you guys, when you guys all argued with her, there was a lot of people wanting to say things, and I didn't wasn't able to get in time, get to them in time. You might want to uh, turn the bot down just in case. Uh, oh no. Turn me down? Uh, no, the bot, just in case. Uh, that, 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 that was this, a joke. Oh. I, I got it. I got it. Thank you. I hate you all. I hate you all. Yeah. yeah, it's not, uh, it will be just the D, uh, D10s, D12s, D8s, uh, D4s, and uh, D100s, and such and such. I didn't understand them. I thought. Uh, what? Never mind. <laughs> oh, like, oh. Thank you. Sam. I'm, 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 I'm already, I'm already flustered. Um, okay, so uh, last session we ended. Well, we didn't end up. We're gonna go back to the scene where everyone's sleeping except for Lacera. Uh, you are, you are um, sitting, or like just um, you're holding Bill Ray's in your hands. Bill Ray's is that big um, scissors that you, uh, you guys found in the World Weave. I'll pull it up on screen mm -hmm. for uh, everyone watching. And um, while you are just like, just looking at it, you feel this, oh my god, you guys gave them food. Are we? Yeah, on the, on the table. Um, uh, Lucera, oh. you're holding uh, the piece of Bill Ray's, or Bill Ray's as it is, and you see the, um, it shimmers red, blue and green every now and then as the light hits it. Uh, the moonlight hitting it, of course, because you guys are, it's nighttime. 
and um, you feel like just this cold autumn wind blow by and you smell just the odd bits of incense coming from the temple as you can see the pagoda shadow just cast nearby you. Um, while holding the race, you feel um, this kind of, like you feel the webs that you saw from earlier of the um, the world weave. You um, you feel you feel your own like webs um, linking with the sword as the sword starts spreading outwards. Uh, you don't see it spreading. It's like you just feel this, these connections reaching out into the world and spread yeah. now. You feel. It's almost like when you were uh, learning the wield spell from uh, Kiko. Uh, you feel this just magic bond weaving itself around the weapon and connecting you and it into one. Yeah. Uh, she, just, you she just looks at it and mm -hmm. kind of like... Like, just feels that with her and like kind of energy, like... Taking it in, just breathing. I mean, mm. remaining calm, but rather intrigued. She wants to know more, but she doesn't say anything. She just kind of has mm. that thought toward it, that look towards it. She holds it and inspects it, just gently, not not like grasping it very tight. Just, it's almost like when you're holding. Uh, like a sword that's sharp, um, yeah, and you're with just holding it reverence that way. almost. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Well, a few. This like this takes like hours to like to, <coughs> to get this connection, but like once you'd say maybe the fourth hour passes by, you feel interlocked with the weapon. Um, is the weapon like? It, is, is the weapon very obvious in the way it kind of like leans out to think? Because no, it's it's more so a connection that you feel with it. It's there's no like physical. You can't see anything physically uh, with how it connects to you. You can only see how it. Yeah. You can only feel the sensations that it gives off by holding it. But she feels like. Um... She kind of feels like there's a purpose with this, with this bill raise, and like she could use it. She knows she can wield weapon like this. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a new style for her. She probably won't be able to wield it as much as the same style as uh, her scythe, considering it's quite heavy. Mm. I think I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just uh, faith. Perhaps this could help me with the world wave, mm -hmm. and I can get over that because I have a feeling I'm not going to be the last I see of these things. The world wave, at least. Mm. Well, um, um, yeah. Is there anyone else you want to say? Uh, it's like I feel, I feel stronger. <laughs> um, no. Uh. No worries. Um, I'm gonna quickly recap the last session because I actually forgot to do that. Um, basically, the end, the, end, <laughs> yeah, the end of last session, um, they all uh, saw this piece of uh, one of the scissors that was made uh, by the Shabbat and stuck into the World Weave, and then together they, through a few trials and tribulations, they were able to pull it out. But by pulling it out, they tore a deeper hole into the world weave and it would spread and it would spread outwards and um and so by and then they had to like escape the uh that, that cave and then uh, the uh, the priests and while at the temple they um they met this tiefling woman who was very problematic to them uh, and that mm -hmm. was this little session for you fight this stupid <laughs> bitch it was a uh, and what led to the chaos initiative uh after that they um create a contingency should the world weave spread further and after that they would decided they would make their way away from the temple and continue on towards uh, isotope which is if i pull up the map for you guys they also told the temple to um 
uh, I think, evacuate. That was the yeah. decision, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Made them evacuate for like a week? Two weeks? Yeah. Not sure. I think it was a week. And like, if anything happened, um, you, you guys would be coming back down at some point. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'd be making our way back after a week. Uh, you all are heading to Isoto over there. Um, and while uh, traveling through the forest, uh, this was a shortcut that like the priests told you about that would take you, instead of going around a mountain, you could just cut through the forest. And while cutting through the forest, you hear just the sky tear open as just this crash of thunder is sounded. As you guys see just this torrent of water just wash down and then sweep through the forest. And it would uh, cause all of you all to like need to grab onto the nearest uh, tree or rock or something, just holding for dear life, just so you guys wouldn't get swept away. Low Nico um, struggling as being a child with very bad grip, uh, but luck luckily, um, Lofi Boy was able to save her by uh, barging her into a nearby tree that she could grab onto. And as the um, the water was washing through, everyone heard and saw just this giant long ship crash into the canopy of the um of the um trees yeah of the trees and you guys could see um as time passed you guys would be able to see that um the water would wash away outwards of the, uh, out of the forest and you guys could um if i pull up the handout oh thank you for the sub uh, Nate. Um, you guys could see that the uh, there was this, this giant long ship with like this dragon's head um, this just red dragon's head and like these um, bah, 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 it broke into like two pieces one half in the trees the other half uh, on the floor and that um, and around you could see just a litter of like its cargo and a few pe a few of its crew as well, just like on the floor nearby. And like just these, uh, as the water washed away, you could see these puddles of um, various colours, uh, just pooling in places. And the odd fish, uh, one stuck in a tree, for example, and one on the floor, um, just and they're just like flopping, trying to like find water. Um, and while looking up at the ship, as you guys are still holding onto the trees, waiting for the water to pass by, you can see. Uh, just this sil this uh, monstrous silhouette of this horned creature with a billowing cape just standing at the edge of the uh, the ship uh, over at the in the canopy if I pull up this and pull up this and then I pull up that yeah um and you can also see just like it's very it's crew as well they don't look like they're from here they all look like they're just um just like wearing bits of armor and clothing and rags that have just been thrown together and they just look to be of a few tieflings a few elves and uh, two dwarves and they look to be just as confused as you guys are as they're just gathering their bearings and groaning Holy shit, did you guys see that? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, what was that? Oh my god, do you think they're okay? Wait. Probably not. Lo, are you okay? I'm okay, I think. Is everyone else alright? I'm doing rock solid over here. <laughs> Give me some okay. inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to try to gather as many fish as I can and save them. Let's go ahead. Um, <laughs> Rocky wants to help with the fish. Go ahead, if you fish want to fall. With a fault right away. Um, <laughs> if you guys would, if you want to uh, roll for me, slight a hand to see if you guys can catch. Whoever wants to catch some fish, you. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, like, you know? yeah, you can catch them though. Uh. Can I, like, stab at them from- Alright. <laughs> okay. What the heck? I, I... I'm not here trying to do a rescue mission. <laughs> um, I guess while Lo-Fi Boy kind of sees uh, Pimera and Rocky go for the fish, uh, I, I guess 
Uh, which one would we see kind of first out of all of the the things, the, the people? The, yeah. yeah. Well, you'd see the most obvious is clearly the silhouette of this this horned being. We can also see. Uh, and uh, the ones lower down. Yeah. Then, like, when you look, when you look down, um, you can you can see the um, the sun setting. By the way, I should have mentioned. Um, oh. You can see just like uh, these, uh, this one tiefling just on a log, just trying to like just pick himself up. He's soaked, obviously, <clears throat> having fallen off the ship, fallen overboard, if you will. Um, confused. They all look very confused. Well, you can't see uh, from the ones that are on the ship because of their silhouettes, but the ones that like the one that is in front of you guys, uh, he looks very confused. I guess the fight boy would just scream like, "Is everyone all right?" Like. Are you okay? Oh. Okay, we're not being sneaky. Yeah, Quick, help, help us! <laughs> help us with the fish! Uh, Excuse me! Um, Chet, Lothar just goes up cl uh, closer to the log, kind of like, uh... Excuse me, you are okay? Oi there! Wait! What about the hole that's eating everything? Oh, uh, Wait, I mean, that's not right now. Uh... I mean, it's kind of important if it, you know... Comes all the way out here. It, maybe it's linked to that. Like, oh. uh, maybe. Yeah, well, that's I a don't good know. idea. Actually, let's blame them. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Sarah, are, are, are y'all aware y'all created a, a, a massive hole in the universe? Um, yeah, just coming out of the sky like that. Yeah. Are you okay? No, no that wasn't us. Who was it then? What do you mean? How did you just we saw fall? you fall out of the sky. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, uh, you <laughs> might want to stay away from those puddles there. Uh, Actually, also, Sarah, you step in one. Could you roll for me a d6? Oh, sh Wait, so do I not throw the, the fishes in there? In the puddles? You want to throw the fish in the puddles? The fish. Do you want to throw them in those puddles? Mouse, mouse. They don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, as um, Shanks's character says that uh, the tiefling that's getting his brains, Captain, I think she landed in one of the puddles. Oh, that's uh, not gonna be good. And as what that happens, happened? um, you don't actually feel anything different happen to you, uh, Lucera. You seem perfectly fine. You just it just feels like you're just standing in just a puddle of water right now. Is there something wrong with the wheel? It's fine to me. Um, it's... No. Do, do we tell them, Captain? What's up with the water? Uh, uh, Can uh, you tell uh, me? It, it, you're just gonna want to avoid those. We'll just... It's, we'll leave I that mean, back for now. I, I would really like to know. I've literally just stood in one. <laughs> uh, 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 Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna send someone down to you. Should uh, we not drink it? Should I give up? <laughs> The tiefling, uh, as he's uh, looking at you, uh, you say that, Rocky. I, I wouldn't if I was you. We don't know I'm what it is right now. What do you mean you don't know what it is? Well, you just drop stuff into the world and then we don't... What? It could be one of six things, maybe. Uh, one of six things. Yes, and... Hmm. Bec well, I mean, seeing its color, it looks like it could be all six things. It's water Any of it colored? Could... Can any of it just be water? That is very suspicious. Or, uh, um, it all like shimmers in like almost very multicolored. Every like none of no one puddle is stays the same color as it shimmers in the light. This one's green. Oh, now it's blue. Oh, now okay, it's Okay, I'm gonna step out of it. I don't know <laughs> if it's any good or bad. It hasn't seemed to have done anything, but I will avoid more. it. If that's what's advised. If you guys were sailing in this water, how come you don't know what this is? Oh, well, that's not the water. Uh, we seem to have lost the sea, actually. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm sorry, could you say that one more time, please? <laughs> oh, we lost the sea? Did, we, we were how sailing? did you get it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and say it was poor planning. Mm -hmm. You... Good, good you one, Captain. didn't plan Not... to get here? The sea. And you're well, now in a tree. Like, wait, as in, like, you are lost? Or as in, like, you had it, and then you lost it? Well, we were sailing, you see. Uh, I am the no, I <laughs> great and illustrious Captain Zilla. You've probably oh. heard of me. 
No. Um, no. Oh, is that you? Okay, hi. They, they probably <laughs> their ears are probably wet. They probably wet behind the ears, sir. So. Oh, that's true. They do look young. Yeah. Which one? Um, uh, which one is? Me. Which one is? I am a sophisticated person? lady. It's when the light gets a bit um, casts itself better on Barnabas as he or as Captain Sir Lazy steps closer, you notice he's a small, uh, three foot tall kobold. Oh, okay. If I pull up his art for you guys. I'll put it up on the screen. I should have done that sooner. I'm very sorry. Yeah, he like leaps up onto the railing of the ship to get a better look at you. Why aren't you with Brian Keller? Sorry, what was the question? Three feet uh, tall, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, how tall is he? Uh, yeah. He, he's a small sized creature. His legs look very long for a small creature. <laughs> You're. Do you, you say that like? Uh, Are you questioning the captain's fashion? No, I was. Is that comfortable? That can't be good for your posture. It's uh, it's fine. This is uh, this is what I always wear. Well, as I, you, I mean, it can be what you always it. wear. As uh, Barney, as you try to reach the railing, the tiefling lifts up his arm as, as if he's trying to catch you to like put you down. Uh, Onto the log with them. Would you like to uh, let him pick you up? <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He like leaps into his arms. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's, it like it looks like they've almost prepared it, and like when as soon as he gets in his hands, the tiefling does like a little spin and then plonks him down and makes his cape look all extra billowy, just to make that's him look great. a bit bigger. Uh, thank you, Roderick. Now, as I was saying, he nods. Uh, we were sailing and carrying these magical components with us, and, uh, well, we came under attack, and so we tried to vacate the area through magical means, and we ended up here, which was strange. But, uh, those things all broke open, and you might not want to touch them, because I can't remember which one's which. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Mm, do you know what some of them were meant to be, if you don't know which were which, perhaps? As um as you ask that, uh, Lo, you doing your Arcana check, you can sense um, that each puddle gives off a heap of magical essence, and it, it's almost as if like they're like just concentrated. It's just concentrated puddles of magic that have just been pooling here. That just that each each one each one puddle gives off this scent, and each uh, each one of its aspects constantly change. Um, the, ver the the uh, the effects that you feel coming off them us um, some give off a poisonous feel, while others make give off the um, a comforting aura, and others seem outright harmful. Uh, Lo, what do you make of these puddles? Yeah. It's a little confusing. They keep changing, um, but sometimes they feel all right, and sometimes I think we should probably just avoid them in general. They give off a very uh, dangerous sort of feeling. Huh, that sounds like the best option. Most appropriate. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone keep away from the puddles. I know I stepped in one. But just just for best risk and safety, don't step. <laughs> well, you seem uh, like you're still okay, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Can I climb up on the log with the people? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. it's a bit slippery, but you only need to roll for it. So it's a bit slippy, but like you're able to like get your foot in and hop cool. over, and you just tower over Barney. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, wow. but Barnabas has got like his fists on his hips and his chest puffed out looking like he's trying to be big mm. I do um, that too but not really sure why <laughs> Roderick, Roderick is still holding the cave trying to make it look all billowy well, um, hello there young man what can I do for you I want to see uh, what was going on you know look around a little bit wow uh, I'll seem to chill nobody answered the question do you need a help is anybody hurt you did just uh, fall out of the sky uh, uh, men, raise your hands if you're hurt. All of them raise their hands. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, well, bunch of hands. I, I can help you with that. 
Oh, thank uh, you. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, are we sure we want to give away this many supplies? Oh, uh, I can cure them with cantrip. Okay. Uh, quick question. Um, what are you guys? Are you pirates? Are you... But you can just ask that. I can... It's worth asking. Are you oh, pirates? Oh, you're, oh, you're asking if they are pa- Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on where you're sailing, right? But where were you sailing? sailing? Well, I mean... I don't see how that's any of your business, but... I uh, think you just almost know. crushed us. I think we have a right to know. Well, we've never seen a boat fall out of the sky. It's not every day. And it's not like we can tell anyone if we don't know who you are. That's true. Okay, well, we were sailing just off the eastern coast of Ronslock. I don't know where that is. I don't tell I'm, I'm from, uh, I'm from, uh, I'm from Ronslock. Oh. Yeah. I see. You're quite fast. Don't say it like that. What? Yeah, don't say it like that. <laughs> what? I'm just. You see? What do you mean you it. see? Oh. Mm. All right. What? Sorry, I, I'm a little. I'm a little I'm just a angry. Are you having a stroke? Well, you see, Bronze Lock isn't always the friendliest of places. Oh, okay. I understand now. I thought you were saying I see as if I look like I'm from Bronze Lock, and I just got really upset for a second. But I, I get it now. Never mind. Yeah, Ronslock is uh, a self-conscious. I'm not self-conscious. I am 100% confident in my appearance and the way I am. You're very handsome. The, Nobody's the questioning you. The team thing you're very six. tough looking, almost as much so as I am. Yeah, almost as much so as you. That's right. Um, <laughs> the tiefling that's next to uh, you, um, Rocky, he uh, he mutters himself, I like your hat. People in Ronslock have I like hats. Thank you. I got it from my parents. Anyways, uh, I like your. Is that? A, are you wearing a hat? I can't quite. You know, the hair. It, well, it, yes, I'm wearing a hat. Oh, I like also, your hat too, but the tiefling. I like your hair. I like your horns. Mm. Oh no, it's it's a hat. My 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 it horns. They fit underneath. It's. Oh. Okay. He takes off his he takes off his helmet to show that his horns are like curved inwards, just perfectly mm. fitting around his helmet. Pretty cool. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, good, good stuff. Who's this other? Who's this blonde fellow with y'all? He looks like a very disorientated elf. What was that? Can you say it one more time? He looks like a very disorientated elf. Elf. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh that's just the disorientated elf. <laughs> that legal name with like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My name's oh, Shelly. Sorry. Don't Shall you know we? it's rude to ask people's names before you introduced yourself? Uh, hey, I'm Rocky. Um, that's true, Captain. That's, he looks that's abashed. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how if I wish to introduce myself yet. Um, I don't know you very well, or, or not. Yeah, I didn't you... get my answer on if you guys were pirates or. Sailors. Well, we're sailors, and some places were considered pirates because those you places aren't very nice. You hear uh, two bits of mufflin coming from beyond this box. Hmm. Was well, that? Mm. Uh, that's mm. that's just what a muffler. That? I wouldn't worry about that. Can you quiet down the muffler, guys? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you say muffler? Yes. Uh, Rocky wants to walk over, uh, like try to walk over there. Muffler? Because she just climb, the third starts like slowly walking, kind of like climbing, bouncing up this um oh. plank because she can do that. Sure, if you <laughs> or should I roll for it? Roll for me and yeah. acrobatics to see if you can balance yourself. Because it's um, <laughs> it's rather curved, so it might be a bit difficult to walk up. And it's wet. oh yeah, so, Kaz, these scrolls that you've mentioned that yeah. <laughs> are on this ship, do I have them in my possession? They're in the crates. In the crates, okay. I should have messaged that to you. What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, in that crate you got there? That's where the muffler is. Okay. Okay, so let me just make sure we understand. So you're able so to get up uh, the flat, You are in the ocean, in the water, delivering yes. these sparkly things. That's and right. then you were attacked 
were you followed? Because we are kind of in the middle of something right now, so, you know. I don't think we'd be followed, no. We we used magic to get out of there and hmm. ended up here instead of somewhere else in the sea. I'm going to have to have a chat with our wizard. Do you have a oh. license to use magic? Also, you did. Oh, the elf where is he? Them? Ver they? Person? Yeah, the elf is the wizard, and he looks as a he looks proud for a moment, but then as soon as like he he hears Barnabas's tone, he he suddenly gets a bit smaller. Oh, realizing it's, it's okay. In Some of us mess up things all the time. I'm yeah. sure it was an accident. It 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 happens. Maybe you could redeem yourself by you know suggesting they stay away from the dangerous parts of the ship mm. oh yes uh that that crate can explode it's very temperamental uh i would why are people... no the mo exactly where we're trying to silence the muffler so because if it gets too loud it can explode and how do you stop this from exploding we gotta muffle it more uh can i do a deception uh... check? the muffle the muffler what yeah you see yeah. it didn't what used to be the called muffler? the muffler it, be, it like it becomes a muffler after we make it one. Can I do an insight check on what I hear in that crate? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. And um, I'd say that'd be perception, uh, Rocky. Um, and Lucera, right. you balancing up the ore, you use your dancer acrobats, acrobatic um, feet, I guess, <laughs> to walk up the ore and then. Just place yourself into the middle of this half of the ship, and you can see uh, these two uh, pirates uh, are like trying to hide what's by the box. And that's what you, uh, sorry, Primera, what are you trying to deceive? How are you trying to deceive them? When he said the way to like make it not dangerous is to make it be quiet. And like, like, how are you? Are you trying to like make them? Like what are you trying to do? I'm with just that? trying to see like if because Pymera tend like tries to hear out both sides of everything. So she's trying to see like if they're being super sus or not. Okay. She I'd doesn't want to. Be... She doesn't want them to be super sus, but she's got to double check. So you want to be convincing uh... to see if it seems as if you're trying to help them. I think what she's really trying to do is get insight on them here. Yeah, I thought I thought, I thought insight. Yeah. Would be... Yeah. yeah, I guess that would be. I was wondering if I could roll uh, for a persuasion um, and be like, uh, I have something put her to Lothera to say um, to try and see if she can get a look at the box. Mm -hmm. What would um, um, what do you what would you think Lothera would try to say? You can try and roll, but like if you wanna, you can try and talk your way into it as well. Uh, but Rocky, hi, you. you the, the noises you can hear come in the direction of the crate, but you can't exactly pinpoint if it's if the crate is the source. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, as can you, I... Sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah, no, as, as, you, as you just open your mouth, the, the two dwarf uh, pirates, they suddenly turn around and then push something back. And you hear something dunk into the crate. Uh, you, um... If you want to start talking. Well, I think I'm hearing noises from this crate, and if there's plenty of you around, I'm sure it's safe enough for me to look around. If you would just allow me to have perhaps a close look at what's in this crate, if you don't mind. As you try to get closer, uh, the one closest to you looks at uh, his captain and then holds his hand out. As, oh no, it's too dangerous. Uh, please step back, madam. Uh, I really would like to have a look. I have people, if it's too dangerous, it's my job to investigate these things. I, I don't oh, think- Mr. Are you alright? Is there anyone hurt up there? Maybe myself and Pymera can kind of help? Uh, no, okay, not yet. Just help. stay back there. Stay stay down with Pymera. Uh, I just sorry. need to check this. I, I, I don't think the captain let you, uh, he turns to, Bar uh, to you, uh, Shanks, and asks, you, you haven't let her look, have you, sir? Uh, no, no, I don't think it's safe for her up there. She's yeah, yeah. not trained in handling these materials. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he, uh, well... he, he, he walks towards you, trying to, like, guide you off the boat. Um, trying to take up as much space as he can. 
Just trying to like. I'm push not you leaving the quite yet. I would like to have a look. Um, I, okay. I'm not. I'm not a very aggressive person. I just um, wish to have a look. Um, I, I just want to say that, like, technically, I think Lacera should be. I mean, uh, this random blue tea flame. Should be fine um, <laughs> looking at the materials, considering they just came out of the sky and, um, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, if we're just going to look at it, nothing bad's going to happen, right? It's not like we know anything about this or well, can that, that, do that's much exactly about it. it. It's all yeah. been shaken up and you don't know anything about these materials and, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're certified, certified to handle these hazardous um, magical materials, so... Oh, yes. oh, I would I like to have a look at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we, uh, the captain said you can't look. It's strict orders. We can't I'm look. I'm to handle these things. Well, uh, uh, we're just What's looking. your certification? I, I, I would like one like that uh, for myself. <laughs> oh, you yeah, can definitely get you certified. Shoes. By Did whom? I... Before you fail or after or... What, are you talking about my shoes right now? I'm just asking if you're comfortable <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. I like feeling the wood beneath my toes. I just uh, want to say, I, know, I, I used to work like in that. research, and um, there aren't that many easily available certifications for uh, handling dangerous materials. I, I, I wouldn't know of that. Uh, what? Well... Yeah, they're they're not easily attainable. That's right. You can look it up if you. Uh, why, do, why do I have a snake? If you it's reach in, out to Diamond Sun Magics Limited, oh, okay. you you can get certified certified through them. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, would I know of that cast Diamond Sun? Like, is it a real thing or is it fake? Roll for me. Insight. Uh, can I? Um, yeah, I'll just say. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, the problem, the problem is, Lo-Fi Boy, you it don't know what sounds It definitely sounds real. like a real thing. You, Lo-Fi Boy, you don't know what sounds like it's real and what is fake. So you, you've, you've never heard of a limited company before. But it sounds, think, sounds real. <laughs> I think that this muffler, mm. if it's a material, I'm sure it won't be able to hear me, right? I think you should give up, Sarah. I think we, I think, um... I think the, the certification sounds legit. Like, I, I wasn't the one really doing the one. Yep. The, Can the we things, see it? But... If they have materials and puddles that are both toxic and joyous, and the wizard that dropped them off in the middle of a forest and not an ocean, but they're certified. Here. They're certified. They're certified. They know what they're doing. We would probably mess things up and make it more dangerous. You should listen what? to your friend, madam. As, um, as the dwarf still tries to get you off the boat. Can we, uh, just for a second, if if the things are really that that bad, um, maybe we should be more focused on cleaning them up? <laughs> I, I wait, agree. wait, 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 wait. Also, can't you just show us to make sure that we avoid it in the future since we have to be certified to deal with it? What if we come across it like in the future yeah, and that we... Yeah, what? like now I know to be careful of colored puddles thanks to you. Oh my god, Lacero should definitely try to check what out. Just just show us, please yeah, show so us. Know what it is in case we encounter it again. Well, just good, just look around. Thing, it looks a lot like these things, except it's even shinier. Uh, it's one big box that makes a noise, and I don't hear any barrels making. Well, then the, the noise, noise the noise is the muffler, because that one's really dangerous. So we keep, exactly. the muffler. we keep the muffler in there to keep it from, you know, exploding. Mm. What does it look like if we come across a muffler in nature, just to be sure that we're safe? Oh, the muffler's well, not the dangerous part. It's what the muffler is suppressing. What is, what is it suppressing? Well, stuff like this, and he like gestures to the puddles. Uh, yeah, but we should uh, probably okay. get this cleaned up, yeah? We, that's what uh, I'm trying to do, but you guys are trying to open more of it, and that seems dangerous, so... How can we help? Like, what can we do to, like, help clean up? Like, even if we're not certified, we still would like to... Kind of... Are any of you skilled in ship repair? 
I am skilled in uh, pretending can... to be skilled in ship repair. I can do handiwork. I all right. probably help. I am a librarian after all. I do know lots of math. Um, low. I, I got a board. I oh. carry big weapons like this. She just takes out her big scythe. Sorry, go on. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> what you can see, though, is the guard uh, is looking like he's like trying to like just muffle uh, what looks to be a dwarf and a hobbit. Not a hobbit, sorry, a halfling. With just like <laughs> rags. And he Hot looks up to, to see you is coming around into the back of the ship. Oh. Could I try to uh, see if I could intercept them? Because I don't know if um, Lucero will notice that they're. Um, roll for me uh, a perception check. If you uh, roll for me a perception check to see if you can see low in the first place. Okay. Uh, bit of with perception. Do do these these two people look obviously in distress? <laughs> the one looking at you is the other one that's trying to get Lucero to move away is also in distress, but more so because Lucero won't stop bothering them. <laughs> uh, but Lucero, you can't see Lo. She's too small. Okay. <laughs> but she's too. I mean, Lucero is very concerned on her own anyway. She's probably. Uh, yeah. I can see two people, right? Yeah, you can see the two the two uh, dwarves. Is it the two like pirates oh, oh, in oh, helmets? Oh, I can see. Sorry. Yeah, you can see you can see the two uh, pirates, and you can also see uh, this dwarf and this like uh, hobbit. Uh, sorry, halfling. Uh, the halfling looks to be wearing like these elaborate silks, while the uh, the dwarf is wearing just like various like just. It's a strange fashion sense that these two um, are dressed in, but they don't look to be of this place, like the pirates. And you can see them being they... muffled. Okay, so they look distressed. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, so... they they are in fear and panic. <laughs> okay, um, Lo's just gonna gonna sort of lean over this bit and just really loudly say, "Hey, are you two okay?" <laughs> don't, don't don't ignore them. Ignore them, little girl. Uh, this is. The mufflers escaped. This don't don't make it make it make noises. Oh, oh, step away from the special passengers. They're they're you're gonna scare them. Who That's... are they? Oh, they already oh. look kind of scared. You're putting your mouth well, your hands over their, their mouth. Sky. Of course they're scared. Then are you guys are okay? They special passengers. <laughs> well, because they, they get scared easily, and we're. Why are they called the them. mufflers? Well, the mufflers, the mufflers in the box. I'm confused. Is Muffler a thing or a person or spell to make something not as loud? Because now you say the people are the Muffler, but the box is, and then there's the bad stuff in the box. I'm confused about what exactly it, this... It's all, it's all very complicated, you see. Wow. It's, I mean, clearly, it, that's it'll why It'll be I'm covered asking. in orientation if you join the DSM. How about this? So you said you're lost. You need a ship repaired. We're heading to a major city right now. Um, you can probably get all the supplies, maybe find some people that will actually be able to repair. In exchange, you want to hear, you know, all the secrets that you're telling us. So oh. hopefully that's fine for everybody. I just kind of said that. Uh, is that good? No? Yes? Well, we can't We can't leave the ship unattended here. We're going to have to fix it up. Still all of these you have plenty of, you have Tran plenty of men. It back to the sea, I think. I understand, uh, but you have plenty of men you, you can leave home. Do you think you are aware of how far the sea is from here? I am not, but if we could get here with one spell, we can get back with one spell. I mean, it's pretty far. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. Well, we, we'll have to do what we have to do. You know, we gotta, we have stuff to transport. Oh, well, where did I little mean, Nico go? I thought she was her. behind me. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've been too convinced Hello? by DSM. Hello? Yeah, I'm over here. Oh, did you find a puddle? Oh, all no. right, all right. I'm, I'm up here, little boy. I'm coming through. I, I don't care. What? This muffler does not sound dangerous. Okay, let me through, yes. please. No, okay. <laughs> I'm just pushing a little bit past. Just, just let me squeeze through, please. Yeah, we're gonna uh, have that to one. stop him. Yeah. That one guard uh, is going to try and stop you. I I need to get through. Can, can Lothar just kind of like stop pushing? I need to. Uh, should I roll a strength check? If you want to roll a strength check to try and get past him, 
Uh, can I give a quick oh, little... Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, go on, sorry. No, I was just going to quickly give you a bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. As you try and push past the guard, the guard is just planted, using the plank behind him uh, to hold his... Uh, to add more um, stability from someone, and he's just keeping you from getting past him. Um, I... If you'd like, Shanks, would you, sorry, would Barnabas like to react with that? Was like, how um, Because you said you want, you might want to take an action. Uh, yeah, he's gonna, so uh, he's gonna try to intimidate as a final warning. Mm-hmm. Um, so he makes himself try to feel big again. Uh, Roderick is waving his cape uh, <laughs> he is. extravagantly, and uh, he calls out, All right, that's enough. We've warned you several times. I will have to use force if you don't back off. Uh, I need to get to life. <laughs> you can't get past here, madam. Please, please get off. Final Can warnings. The captain's given. Sec- okay. Can we well, maybe calm down, do? everybody? Um, the little girl is very important to the scary blue lady, so <laughs> maybe if you just let her get the little girl... She, she can go back down the way she came. Then, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. she's very... We're not holding her. It's very... T- it's a touchy thing, you know? If, if, if yeah. The girl can go away, and the big girl can go away as well, and then it'll be fine. I'm calling my action on what I think... Lo Nico thinks. Lo, what do you think's going on here? Am I able to, like, talk to the people? You can try. Yeah. Can I, I just want to, like, kind of kneel down next to and be like, are you okay? What's going on? <laughs> do they have something <laughs> over their mouth? They do have, they, they, they have <laughs> too. <laughs> they have rags over their mouths muffling them. Can I pull the rags off? <laughs> you can. The, 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 the dwarf is, is is stuffing them with more rags, stopping. So, like, you can try, but it'd be a bit difficult, I'd say. Um, you probably need to roll a strength check. No, you got this. <laughs> If, 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 um, if she sees any struggling, she's just gonna... <laughs> what? What? Okay. Okay, so... 15. Maybe we should Give me a calm down a little. It's pretty clear that uh, little girl has found something that you don't want her to find. But, um... Chimera, there's people gagged back here. They don't look very I mean, happy. Uh, that's uh, not good. Uh, I didn't need so, to get back there. So, what how kind about... of certification? Wait, what kind of certification <laughs> is that? As <laughs> as you ask that, you just uh, you pull the gag out, and this, the dwarf just screams, "Help! Help! Please!" <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay. okay. Wait, why don't we, can we just take the people and then you guys can take the stuff and we'll leave you alone. That's no, I can't, good. I can't have another demerit on my record. They're going to bust me down to first mate again. Oh, no, oh. we won't tell. We just, just want the people. They're, they're when... how we make our money. What are you thinking? People... Oh, well, you probably shouldn't have said that because now we have to fuck you up. The... <laughs> I'm going to say, when, when Bonnie shouts attack, the two dwarves instinctively go to attack Lacera. And low. Um, I want so Sarah to, to instantly, as soon as she said the gag bit, to like try and go for the jumping, or when they when they start making the move. If you can beat their initiative, I'll give you. I'll let you have an action ahead of them. Okay. I, I don't know if I can beat. If, um, you can beat a seven. I don't know, man. That's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> no, <it's a> <laughs> oh yes. You'll be able to get one of them, you'll be able to get both. I'll add the... Um, and Shanks, are you not a roll initiative? Uh, if you I, I click on your token, uh, and then you... Uh, if I remember what the NPC sheets look like, as if I didn't just look at one. Uh, where the ACs, yeah, you'll see this a d20 in initiative. Oh, I see it, yes, thank you. Okay. There is. 
But I'm going to say the pirates will have a general surprise around on you guys. This. It's not letting me. It's. I rolled it, but it's not <laughs> showing up on the. Uh, did order. you click on your token? If you didn't, I can. I'll add it for you now. I mean, I'll, I'll do it now. There it is. If I. It's one last one. Amazing send off. Dang it! I had a fifteen originally. Now I got an eight. Fifteen. Oh, I can't right, sing then. if you would like me. For music, I can sing for you. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Look, I can't dance, but I'm pretty good at jamming, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we Dude, could just vibing. have a sing-off instead if you want. We should totally do that! Uh, I can read the music. Sorry, that was aggressive. Um... <laughs> okay, I, I fine. Challenge you to karaoke battle for the two... people that are tied up. I want to look inside the box. Woo! <laughs> No, okay, I guys, it's okay. It we don't the... have to fight. We're going to have a sing off. <laughs> I, I was kind of looking forward to fighting, if I'm being completely honest. Um, yeah. Well, you could be my backup singer. Would that that's make sounds good. I, I, I'll enjoy that. <laughs> what are you going to say? Uh, are we singing? You can add a little extra rock to my role if you know what I'm hey, saying. Hey, uh, nice. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good one. I enjoyed that joke. <laughs> Good give, yourself, give yourself initiative. I mean, not initiative, inspiration. Give yourself initiative, Beth. Do it. <laughs> For me? What did, um, what did you want to say, Bonnie? Sorry. What, what did I want to say? Yeah, you wanted, I thought you wanted to say something, but then just before Beth mentioned uh, dance, or when you agreed to the dance-off. Oh, I was saying I uh, that uh, he agreed before there was mention of the box. So oh. that's not part of the deal. I wish the <laughs> Look, I'm scared about the people. We can still mm. fight them after I win. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point then? She just said that. I want to win, okay? <laughs> Maybe if he loses bad enough, we can add others. You know, it's... oh, no, no, okay. They're, they're people. They're, they're priority. We don't need the box. We just need the people. Yeah, clearly. And I'm sure they'll tell us what's in the box. Okay, I'm ready. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I won't join you in dancing or singing because I do not wish to partake in this. Okay. I'll be your hot man. You got yes. it. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I could make hey. you give you hype. <laughs> so are we doing a, a charisma? Yeah. Uh... What I'm going to do is, yeah, well, uh, if you guys want to roll charisma, I'm not going to add it to the initiative order just in case. Um, uh, if everyone could roll charisma for me, um, who's going to be taking in the, the little sing-off dance off or whatever you guys are playing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, he, he, like, uh, yields going first to her. I mm. will go first. That's then, fine. And then as soon as he hears how beautifully she sings, oh. he just says, Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that can give me a beat. <laughs> I can give you the best beat ever. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Ooh. Rocky. Yeah. Mm. Rocky. Yeah. Rocky. Rocky. You need a they, hero. They do, but... We are yeah. here to save your life. You just see. We need a Rocky. And Sarah just starts going. <laughs> uh, as she, as she just starts playing the sick ass riff, Barney. How are you going to initiate your attack? Uh, After calling for one. So he's going <laughs> to... Yeah, he's, he's going to call out attack like in the middle of her song. And then immediately <laughs> pull out both of his weapons and attack Rocky. What? Hey! Dad! Mm, you you see... Um, Don't cut me yeah, short. Star loser. <laughs> you just see Rocky. Uh, he pulls out this um, a short sword and a um, a double barreled <laughs> pistol. Fitting for you being short and all. That was if you want to roll to attack, uh, Barney, uh, with what? Yeah, that was oh. a good one, Rocky. I, I thought it was good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you go for a yes. slash <laughs> with your short sword, but as like Rocky makes a joke about it being short, you kind of lose. <laughs> 
hey, that will hurt my feelings. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you're trying to hurt my physical self, so I don't care about your feelings. Yeah, you stop writing feelings. the middle of the singing battle, okay? You don't get an opinion. Yeah. And then he, and then he tries to shoot him as well. Mm -hmm. What the? <laughs> if you want to, uh, what's your AC, Rocky? AC is 13. You got shot. <laughs> And Ow! as he says, you what hurt my hell? feet. You hurt my feet. And you just see. You feel like a cannon that just got shot into you. You hear uh, rock shatter as like some bits of chip off where the bullet hit. And oh my god! Heck, how you need that part of your body? Just pulled out a gun. <laughs> what? Did you just shoot him at point blank range? You that root is what that is. The gun, like um. Like the uh, sound of the ship, it sounds like a thunderous roar when it fires. Okay, well... Yeah, I well, got him! Good. Put me out here, Roderick! And the, the, the to, Wait, did you say Rocky help attack. you out? I don't want to help you out. Roderick's ready Roderick. to... Who's Ro Roderick? Roderick goes for a <laughs> slash with his battle axe. What the heck, Roderick? I thought you were cool! <laughs> <laughs> and Roderick gets you as well, and you, he nicks you uh, in the same arm where the bullet hit you. <laughs> And you guys see guys, bits I, of Rocky falling I, I, off. I, I'm in danger, guys. I do. On file, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the mending could probably put them back. Yet, I, will it still work? Oh fuck! I don't. Use your rock hands. <laughs> you pulled out a gun and shot me. I didn't have much of a choice to use my hands. <laughs> you know, bitch slap him, okay? You, you I will when I can. Right in front of him. Why I can't wait, I can't wait, Nico? I can't wait to attack you with my sword. Huh? This, be sad so this much. pirate thinks it's low Nico. Who's <laughs> on the initiative. She, um, but as soon as like Roderick goes for a slash, the sorcerer uh, from behind Roderick goes to cast a spell at Lacero. Um, no! Come, get back to me, do oh it to me! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> And you, uh, you see, he just begins to. You see these arcane ruins form in his hand. Uh, a chilling blue, Rocky, uh, and Love Hubble, you'd probably be able to see as well. And he just launches a ray of frost towards uh, Lacera. Woo! But, She's on edge already. <laughs> but you're having this little kerfuffle with this one guard, and the ray of frost just like. Yes. You just see it freeze a piece of wood beside you, and you see just like frost over. And you just hear him say, Damn. Oh, um, alright, you wanna play it that way? And the one, uh, the, the two on you, uh, Lacera and, um, Lo um, Lonico, are gonna try and attack, but Lo, Lo I said you could get an attack on them, uh, first, because you got a higher, um, thingy. Not Lo, sorry, Lacera. I can get, wait, oh, wait, really? <gasps> yeah, I, yes. um, I, I can't remember what I said, but I said a thing where you'd get an, yeah. an attack, one attack in. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to kind of do like a. <clears throat> I don't think I can. It'd be not fair, but I want. I want to do like a. Well, it's like a attack on both of them. Mm -mm. Like a swing, but I don't think that's fair. Only one. <laughs> Only one. Okay, I'll attack the one that's closest to Lo and the other two, um, the two people because mm -hmm. that's her priority. Uh, yeah, he's my safe. Uh, there. There. Ooh. You're just, you're being tough, like, you you two are having, like, this, like, tossing match with one another. Both of you holding your scythe and just trying to throw each other. And, like, that uh, little bit of ice that, like, was about to hit you kind of threw you off as you were preparing your attack and you just got, and the, uh, the, um, the pirate uh, took advantage of this little um, slip and then goes for a slash with uh, his short sword in his other hand. Whew. And he gets you. Oh my god. <laughs> Dealing 12 damage as you feel this, just this gash that just cuts into your side. Uh, uh, on your left side. <laughs> as you just start bleeding. I'll get you for that. I'll get and, you. 
And the other one over by low is going to try and attack low as well. And let's go for a downward strike on um, on, the, on low. Letting go of the two uh, gagged, um, kidnapped people. Uh, he oh, no. Low, what's your AC? Uh, 15. You, you are able to just step out of the way and you see his sword just dunk into the wood where you were just standing. And now uh, Roderick is going to get one more attack in. Uh, and he's going to go for Rocky again. What the heck, Roderick? <laughs> <laughs> but Roderick, uh, he's um, he's too busy also holding onto the captain's cape, and he kind of like it kind of just like the wind just like billows towards and throw, towards you guys and just throws him off a bit, and he just kind of like misses his sweep and cuts a bit of uh, Barney's cape actually. But hey, he's now watch it. sorry, sir. It is now Primaris turn though. Okay, well. You know, I mean, they didn't have the turn. It was a you surprise action. Mean... Yeah, surprise action. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry. So, um, I don't appreciate you fucking up and messing off. So, uh, I'm going to uh, bring Queen into existence, mm -hmm. like right now. Oh no. <clears throat> Which, <laughs> am, am, am I holding them? this sick? Am I holding the Shiseki stone as we talked about? I think um, Pymer had the Shiseki stone, unless like you guys did some RP. Um... No, yeah, I yeah. think he, he did take it. Okay. It's just, in my inventory, just... but... Mm. Oh, I'll, I'll move across. Sure. Uh, you just see a flash of light burst uh, around you guys as you see Queen just come into existence. And she rivals the setting sun as she just like burns this red heat off her. Or oh, this red light, sorry. And you, it's just like this peacock phoenix, just like just starts flapping its wings in front, uh, behind you, got um, behind Barnabas and the pirates. They have to make a dex save. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's the um? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yep, Barney has to get you Everyone has to make a dex save. No, it's in a, a ten feet of her. Uh, just oh, Barney and the the pirates that are nearby. A deck save. If uh, it doesn't give you a save, uh, you can roll uh, straight decks. Just, just roll a dex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. Are right, we going 11, 16, 17, Beth? Oh, sorry, Pymara. Uh huh. You guys suck. <laughs> How much damage does it do? Is it nine to all of them? Uh, I, I mean, I can roll it separate if you want, but... I think, uh, does it just, uh, say to all... I think, I think I'll just, just do it to all of them. Yeah, I, uh, that'll be for all of them. But, like, is there, like... What was the spell save, sorry? Uh, 15. 15, okay. Uh, and so there's a half for uh, Barney and the Axe Pirate. Because they got 16 and 17. Well, it just says... Uh, within 10 feet... Uh, other than me, when it appears, must succeed on a dex saving throw against your spell save or take 2d6. Okay. Alright. The only one that uh, takes uh, the damage is the um, is the sorcerer who casts the Ray of Frost. But he kind of uses his body to shield the heat uh, to stop Barney from getting any um, getting caught by the fire. And the... Um, <clears throat> because of where the tiefling was positioned, he wasn't... He was able to use the bow as cover. But you can see... Um, the rigging that was uh, connecting the two ships is catching fire. Okay. Um, would she... Because she technically takes her turn on my initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you still would have... Wait until my next turn. You still have your turn, but like I don't know if like you it counts as an action to summon her. If I, we can check that now. I mean, technically, her... Like, that's... It would be like if I took Wild Shape. Like, she... Yeah, so, yeah so she'd count as an action. Yeah, you're able to, um, like, you're able to move or use a bonus action. Right, that's what I'm, so, but she takes her action right after me. Mm-hmm. So, would she take it now or next turn? I'd say next turn. Okay. I'm gonna move over here and avoid the puddles. I'm coming for you, Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> Don't die! Thank you! Use the I, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly try. Uh, I'll start singing karaoke to distract I'm a hero! I'm going to come and save your life! 
And is that all you're gonna do? That's Rock you me. around yes. the Christmas tree. <laughs> no. no. It's no. your turn again, Barney. No. All right. Barney, I flip him off. Oh, that was close. You're back in my good books, all right? Uh, as for you, get away from my ship. And he's going to attack Rocky again twice. <laughs> Go ahead. Flip him off twice. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you get shot one finger, as you get slashed the other finger, his middle finger just disappears. Oh yeah, he gets it gets it, it gets shot off once again. The wind the, the, again. Uh, this is like when Roderick went for a slash. When the wind billowed, it threw both off because Roderick was also holding your cape. So you um you get disorientated for the hot second, but your gun still <laughs> is still in hand. Not a not a boo boo. You can't shoot me. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, he raises his gun and shoots. <laughs> Ow! Oh, He's gonna roll damage that hits. This oh my God. Rocky, you oh, get like. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm not doing too well right now. <laughs> Rocky, you get you see, this bullet. Uh, you see Barnos pull the gun up to your head, uh, or aiming towards your head, and you you feel the rock, the crystal in your um, forehead shatter as uh, the bullet clashes into that and the shards that fall off throw your hat off as well as you just <gasps> fall back off the log oh. <laughs> <laughs> you put her in like catch him okay just give me a <laughs> why you do this <laughs> it's not oh, too late to <laughs> surrender you know they are very hard to convince. I, I, I'll never say. surrender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. That was barely a scratch, Lugie. <laughs> I think he might be a, a scratch. You might need some help. All right, then. And he, uh... No, I meant... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he calls up to one of the, uh, the pirates up near, um... Uh, near the, the hostages, mm -hmm. and he orders him to use one of the scrolls. Mm -hmm. You just see uh, the one that's uh, near, nearest you, Lo, that struggled uh, to attack you. He just puts his hand into the crate and pull out a piece of paper. Which one is it? It's the one uh, that's closest to Lo. If you could roll for me a d6, uh, Barney. Mm -hmm. Let me just look at my notes. You just see, uh, as he holds the scroll, um, you can see the guy just wince, closing his eyes, just think, concentrating on the paper. And it shakes in his hand. And as it begins to shake, you see lightning uh, forming over his, uh, off his hands as Thunder Wave uh, blasts off him. Uh, in the direction of Lo and the the hostages. That is so fucking rude. <laughs> I never thought I did that, but I'm proud. <laughs> Roll for me a con save, Lo. A con save. Yeah. It wouldn't be twelve, I think. That's wrong. It would just be a DC ten. I'm sorry, is that Angie? She is Angie now. He has turned his eyes to uh, to attack her precious. No, <laughs> not love. Uh, you um, the um, the hostages kind of they grit their teeth. Um, what the one that still got rags in Matthew, you, you can see the rags get very uh, bunched up as he uh, as he uh, bites on that. The other one is just like clutching you. Uh, feel the lightning surge off, um, off him and blast towards you in like this kind of circle, and you take only eight damage, and they also take eight damage, and they look like they're about to like get knocked out. They are they're they're lulling off, and you see the crate just like get pushed into the um, into the side of the ship as and it dunks heavily, and you can hear glass shatter from within. Oops. <laughs> Wait, what do you hear, Shasta? A glass from within the uh, the crate. Uh. Anything else, Barney? 
Uh, actually, no. No, nice. that's it. That's end of turn for him. Lofi boy, your turn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Um, actually, this might be a bit late. Sorry, I had I realized I had a, a, something I could have done about that. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll just let you go. <laughs> okay. Um, how tall is the log? I'd say about three feet <laughs> at its highest point. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Because I, I want to uh, basically move and be here. I know I'm standing in the puddle, but um, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Roll a d6 um, for me when you step on... Yes. Oh, Here's shit. your d6. Um, nice one, Sarah. Uh, you do... That, uh, that would be a reaction, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you see when it's you see... It's a bit late for me to mention. No, 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 it's... Because, uh, like, I mean... You, uh, uh, Sam, are you okay with Lucero doing her reaction? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. No, I'm sorry. It's okay. If you want to roll for me a d10. A d10? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. And using your uh, scythe, you just like grab onto the. Um, using um, using the like. The bit that isn't bladed. Grab a uh, hook, hook yourself uh, with the scythe onto the, um, the pirate. Oh, you only draw damage. You just oh, kind of sorry, twist yeah. him just to throw his angle off a bit. And lo, you just feel you take less damage. Like you feel like that you could you uh, by Lucera like disorientating the pirate, you've been able to like save yourself from most of the damage and instead of taking a considerable amount of damage of lightning, you uh, just get a, a, a little jolt in your fingers. Like runs down the, from the headstock of your shamisen uh, to your uh, fretting fingers. But if you continue, uh, Lofa would for me. And you got four. Before you do anything, <laughs> uh, pick a direction north, south, east, or west. Four. Okay. Four. Did, did you say fourth, you clever bitch? Yeah. As you. <laughs> Okay. As you just step onto the potion, you feel the floor beneath you just turn into ice. Ice greased with oil. And you just feel your entire body slip as you get hurled in this direction, just stunk into a tree over here. <laughs> what? Like, you, you guys just see Lofobo slip and then just slide. Um into the near into that tree that and that was the only thing that would have stopped him from slipping i mean stopped him uh in his path why do you step in a puddle i i thought you were fine when you stepped in it i i didn't anticipate this if we um, want you <laughs> Here. Just get back here. Okay. Um, I guess I, I, I'll take my action then to <laughs> dash. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I guess uh, so I can move like thirty feet yeah. to be back here, and then the remaining um feet that I have, I guess I'll be here. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You just see him slip away. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Um, I'm going to do my action again. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to the other side. Yeah. Just run to the other side. Run to the other side. Run to the other side. to the other side. to no, no, I'd let you. I'd, um, let you uh, I'd let you be able to pull it out. Okay. Do it. Yeah, little snipper. Uh, yeah. So she just kind of like um, quickly switches her scythe away faster than she can. Like pulls out her scythe. It's gonna roll it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she like heavy pulls it. Vault her bike, like heavy pull, and how it drops it in the direction of um, like dropping, swinging in the direction of 
the uh, the one that's nearest to Lonico, mm -hmm. but like right between where the hostages are mm. and away towards the other one to avoid hitting them. All right. Um, if you could roll for damage, then pick a number: um, six, seven, or eight. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, if you want to roll damage. Okay. Uh, do I just click on that one? Yeah, uh, just uh, snip text. Oh, yeah. So you deal, okay. ignore the 8 plus 7. That's, don't worry about that. You deal 18 damage to this one. Um, as you just slash into, um, into that uh, pirate, you hear the sound of a glitching and uh, cutting paper again. The same sound that you would have been, uh, that you heard when you guys were pulling it from the world weave and you just see uh, this pirate just begin to like uh, from where the cut um gashes into him you see it begin to glitch and he begin to look like t uh, tearing paper as just these um his blood like just starts pouring out of him as it, and this begins glitching as it oozes out and you see he's being just get pulled in from where you cut into him and from where uh and he just disappears gone uh, it kind of sounds like there's a bit of a the, the slight sound of an implosion happened from where he was and you just see this a hole now in where um where he once was if you want to roll a d4 for me now please uh yeah oh sorry i was looking in the wrong area it's okay oh one no worries you see a hole from where he once was and this, you can't see anything into the hole, except for Pymera. Wait, what? You see the back of Pymera's head when you look into this hole. Uh, uh, Lone Eagle, you can't see this hole. Lacera, only you when you look in this direction. And Rocky, you... It's an invisible hole that only Lacera can yeah, see. Yeah, you, you can only see from the direction you're looking at. No one else can see. Uh, Lowe can't see from the other side. You can only see it from one side. Um, but can... that pirate is gone. Yeah. Hmm. Can she see, if she can see the back of um, Pimera's head, can she see any faint seeing thing of uh, Rocky at all? Yeah, you can see, uh, you can see Rocky's hat and Rocky. So from that direction. It's on the floor, yeah. I don't think I have any healing bonus actions, do I? Is, um, I mean, you have a bonus action. You haven't used uh, your bonus action. So if you... What's if my you bonus, bonus action? Let's find out for you. If uh, Rocky, you want to prepare your turn um, as well, I'm not going to have a quick look. And same with you, love. Because it says it's an action, so I don't think yeah. it's a bonus action. Yeah, then no worries. You've got no bonus action healing words. I mean, healing spells. Do we throw potions? You, yeah, you can uh, potion pass. Where you won't need to, like... You don't need to, like, roll for it. You, if you just want to say you passed a potion, I'll, I'll have allowed you to pass a potion. Can, um... Lucero attempt to, like, um... I don't know why she thinks um, she thinks she could possibly because she sees this kind of vision. She's like, "What if I throw a potion in the direction of Rocky through the hole that she sees?" You could, if you want to. On the off chance it could get to him. Yeah. If you want to toss your potion in. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, you won't need to roll anything. You just seeing Rocky, and you just have this inkling in your head. A brainwave goes off, tossing in your health potion. Pymera, you see just over your shoulder, uh, this hell potion just comes flying over. You don't see where it's come from, and it just lands perfectly in Rocky's hat. Mm. Oh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 like, Is this for you? Thank you, Wow! Thank you for survive! I will add, uh, Pymera, you, when you turn around, you can't see where this potion came from. You can't see Lucera or nothing through some magic portal. Only Lucera can see it from the direction she's looking. Continue. Um, can can Barnabas Barb see uh, her attacking from there? Yeah, if you turn around, you can see uh, what Lucera's doing. And you can actually see the portal as well. But you can't see uh, it on the side Pimera's out. You can only see it on Lucera's side, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um... Okay, but uh, as a reaction to uh, seeing her uh, rip one of his pirates through space and time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 
he's gonna call for a fireball to starboard and uh, point mm -hmm. at her. The sorcerer notices what's up and he gets ready. And he just launches four ma three magic missiles, sorry, at Lucero. Oh, oh, oh. You oh. could just do that? Whenever? What the? As yeah, a reaction, yeah. even he, he's got commanded ah. by his captain. I see. And Lucero, you turn around in hopes to see the missile, I mean, the potion go towards Rocky. And you see it land. But as you see it land, you see these three missiles come darting around. Um, two coming from one uh, one side, one coming from the other, and they just all just hit straight and square into your chest. And you take ten damage. Probably fall back a bit. Yeah, you will. Ten you'll, damage. You'll, you'll fall back unconscious, and you'll be oh, on your shit. death saves. Well, the the diddly dang. <laughs> you uh, don't get to talk. Okay, you started this. <laughs> 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 I started. Aaron dies slowly. Okay. <laughs> I started. What do you mean? I start. I started this. I got shot with a gun. Well, okay. I mean, to be fair, though, you were really close to him. Just talking. Goodness. Anyways, uh, is it You're my turn to be now? You're my hype man. I was your hype it, man, and then they started fighting us during our, our show. Anyways, uh, I want to do. I have a couple things that I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do <laughs> is, um, so I have a. My, I'm gonna use my my main action to use my two-handed weapon against um, um, the captain. Wait, what about um, the Huey? I, yeah. I I I have something that for that. Give me just. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna do this first. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five to hit. That hits. Uh, and then that is five damage. Yeah, you're. Um, <laughs> were you were you gonna climb onto the lock again, sir? Uh, do I, uh, I get, well, I mean, it's only three feet tall, right? Yeah. Could I, can I, like, kind of get, kind of half climb up it, but it's, like, still attack him kind of thing? Uh, yeah, like, I'd, I'd say, like, you'd be able to, like, up. yeah, like, you kind of like, just step onto it, and, like, you just, like, reach as far as you possibly can. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll do that. I don't want to get, like, I don't know if I, I I'm not going to, like, fully, fully be on it. Mm. Um, so that, five damage against him, and then, um, that feels... Did I? Yeah, you hit. Uh, you... I... Okay, I rolled a one. That's why. Okay, I was like, "What the heck? That's, just, that's the worst oh. thing I could have gotten." Anyways, um, and so I'm going to use my. Should I go ahead and use my action surge or my bonus action first? You is it, any order will be fine. I um... okay. I'm gonna. I'll go ahead and just do my bonus action for that. I'm going to be doing my um second wind, mm. um. As a as a bonus action, let me make sure I can do it as a bonus action. Basically, I regain 1d10 plus my fighter level. Mm -hmm. um, so, I guess I'll just roll it the old-fashioned one. Uh, 10 plus... Uh, I'm level... Are we level 2, right? Yeah, yeah. you're level 2, so you get 12. That's 12. So Dope. You, um, having, as you see like your sword just slash into Barney, um, just, get the, just get a bit of his, um, his leg... You um mm. you get you get some more like you get just this bit of uh, energy just surge through you. You get that uh, confidence come back for like, a hint of a second. Nice. And um, now for my last thing, I'm gonna do my action surge, which is just a bonus attack. Mm -hmm. Um, an attack again. That's sixteen to hit. Does that hit? I let me check for you. It does yeah, hit. That, that hits. Yeah. And that is 10 damage. Ah, you bastard. And uh, <laughs> I stick my tongue out of him, and that's it. Oh, Kaz, I already reduced oh, my healing. health from his Oh, did you? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that will explain why he looked a bit smaller. Um, <laughs> if you want to cool. get that 10 for me, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you, just hit, you, you hear uh, Barney groan. And just hiss back at you as you get that second cut in on him. Nice. Anything right. else, Rocky? Um, how do you do potions again? Do you use it as a full action or a bonus action? Oh, that was a bonus action. Okay. I mean, but I was, already used my bonus yeah. action, but I was just I was just curious for future reference. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Nice. It is now the sorcerer's go, and seeing as Lucera has got knocked down, screw that guy. I hate this guy. Sucks. <laughs> he's going to try and attack uh, Lofi, but who's uh, down below him? 
and just gonna try and just slash in your general direction. He doesn't look like he's uh, very proficient with swords. He was more of a uh, spellcaster. But does eleven hit, low fi boy? No. No, he's just out of reach for you. Low, your turn. Okay, I'm. <laughs> Being... Like, collapse in front of you. <laughs> I noticed there is just fucking collapse, but I'm going to try and do. Seeing this damage the fucking captain's causing, I'm going to try and do dissonant whispers okay. on him. If you want to roll a wisdom um... save for me, Barney. All right. What are you whispering? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my friends alone. <laughs> Please. Leave my friends alone. Okay, I gotta remember how to do. I always forget how to do damage with spells. Uh, you can roll three, uh, three d six normally because it it doesn't add any bonuses. Oh, they only take half damage, so Barney only takes mm. five from that. But you hear just the um, lonely cause, um, words ringing through your um, through your ears, and you you it sounds as if it's coming from all, all around you as you feel like. Yeah, I, as you're cutting out. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You cut out for that. Sorry. You um you feel like lonely cause whispers um surround you, and they just sound like fiery daggers stabbing into your ear. Did I cut out that as well? Get out of my head, <laughs> crazy lady. I'm a child. <laughs> words around here, okay? Um, and I'm going to give a bardic inspiration um, to Pymera. As a me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you um, and then you just. How uh like how were you casting the spells by the way? Oh, sorry. Were you your shamison or your bells? Yeah, I've got my shamison out, so I just play a fucking tune. Perfect. Yeah, um you just hear uh Lonely cause uh, the riff that she's still playing the same riff, but then she uh, <laughs> she changed the scales just a bit here and there depending on who she was targeting to when when um casting Party Conspiration she got plays a, a more major major intonated uh, little uh, melody and you feel uh, Lonely Co's uh, guidance surround you uh, by mirror. Nice. The uh, Roderick now is gonna let go of Barnabas's uh, a cape knowing that it's a problem. He, he's, he's more of a hindrance than he is <laughs> <laughs> a help and he's gonna try and shoot at Pymera. Uh, you, you see, he just uh, put his uh, points his axe towards you, uh, Pymera, and you see it's uh, it's actually it's just like uh, Barnabas's gun, but instead of having two barrels, there's a single barrel with an axe head at the end of it, and he just fires. That's not um, how axes work, sir. <laughs> it's not an axe, idiot. But he okay, misses don't because. Don't call me names. But he misses because he uh, you you made you you made him talk and he lost concentration. <laughs> That's what you get for being rude. <laughs> We're not expecting another uh, pirate up here. You you see, you hear another cannon go off, oh. uh, coming from above. And is AC sixteen? Um, long screen stop. Um, yeah. What is it? Sorry, it is sixteen. Uh, AC is sixteen. Mm. Well, this bullet just just about scoffs you, and you see just like knock uh, into some of your wooden bits of armor, and take out a bit uh, a few chunks of those, and Wait, then you see him look down, look at you smugly. Okay, you're next, cheeky boy. <laughs> the pirate that was uh, stopping with Sarah, seeing as she just like falls over. Uh, Captain uh, Carl again. Oh, uh, the pirate that was um that's near you, Lucera. The one I was uh, fighting with you, um, he sees you fall over him, and he just like he just pushes you aside and just letting you fall um, fall to the floor onto the onto mm. the floor. I, I'm assumed there's quite a um, no, not a huge drop, but there's a slight drop or something. No, it's just, it's just there, slight. It's like... slightly uh, inclined, but no, it's not steep enough for you to start rolling. So you just like just fall to the, fall to the side here. I'd say. Um, 
and without thinking he just rushes behind and just jumps up at you low but not realizing there's a portal there he lands uh, <laughs> right behind Chimera. <laughs> And like, not stopping oh, his action, he got. Fucked up now, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> not like thinking, he just goes, just a general slashing motion in the direction he was uh, jumping in, and so he goes for a slash towards you, Pymera, and he does get you. You not expect, oh. you just feel a sharp pain as this oh uh, the sword just slashes into your back. Okay, you're going down. Normally, I like dwarves, but not you. <laughs> If I marry to your turn there. I'm sorry if I marry. <laughs> From my grave, okay. I'm oh. saying this. <laughs> Rocky, do you need more help? I should be fine. I got my healing potion, and then. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, if you okay. if you have extra help, I mean, I'll take it. But if think... not, go <laughs> go okay, help yes others. Yes or no question. I yeah, yes or no. Go help other people first. Okay. So no. Um, so I'm gonna turn to this guy. Mm. Be like, you done goofed, star. Um, I'm gonna, um, burning hands him. Mm -hmm. As a cantrip. Go ahead. 14. That, I believe, does hit. Well, it's a. Oh, is it, is it safe? Oh, sorry, my mistake. I forget. <laughs> it's been, it feels like forever since I last liked him. I, I had to ask Jacob earlier, like, how do AC? How does AC work again? Because <laughs> I completely forgot. That's the wrong thing. It's a fifteen. Yeah. It's like hot and cold temperatures. Oh, he fails completely, and you just, you just what? This fire washes over him, and you just hear him just like yelp as his um. You can see his uh, rags and like his like furs just like turn to cinders around him, and he's just wearing charred clothing now. Ah, I hope it takes you forever to grow your beard back. He just grits his teeth angrily at you and doesn't say a word because he's um, trying to hide the pain away. <laughs> okay, so I do. I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, mm -hmm. Healing potion. Go ahead. Oh, well, thank you for the positive check, Ace. Right. Yeah. Um. If you want to use your potion, yeah. Uh, that's two d four plus. If I check how much that's done, I'm gonna run somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, plus two. All right, you get eight hit points back. Hey. Do you, are you going to do it or do you need to do it? Oh, I've done it. Uh, you okay. drink, you just chug the potion down. Not able to savor its taste, but like you get the hint of cherry as it washes down your throat. That's fine. Okay, queen, your turn. Queen is going to fly over this motherfucker. And mm -hmm. then she's going to shoot him. <laughs> Wait, laser eyes. Okay. She's got a gun. <laughs> well, the, yeah. Okay. So. Mhm. Mm that hits. <laughs> you just see Queen just like launch this ball of fire out of her mouth, and it goes in an arc, and, and it just. It's one d six plus two, so seven mm -hmm. points. Seven. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Take that, you two little shit. It just bursts off the tiefling, but he doesn't look like he's too miffed by getting a few bits of fire damage. And he just... That's fine. He just turns to Queen, but you, and you can't see his uh, his expression as his back's turned to you. Anything else? She's gonna take the rest of her action. Basically, she did, like, a flyover. Mm -hmm. So, can she, like swoop in a circle and come back like over here. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, that's something. Barney, your turn. And Lofa Boy, if you want to prepare your action as well. Okay, so I've uh, used my gun yeah. twice. So, you'll, so... Be, you'll have to reload. Is that an action? That'll be an action. 
Okay. Well then, Aha. he is going to uh, leap over the puddle here. <laughs> run up to the this section of the ship as he's reloading. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to point his gun down at her and say, Surrender, or I blow her head off. I'm going to ask you to roll a dex check just to see if you can jump and run and do all that work in one go. Wait, so wait, he's threatening to shoot Lothera's unconscious, yeah. but, but oh no. And he, and you, you guys just see, yeah, Barney just do this mad rush off the log and towards Lucera. And Logan, you can see, you know he's uh, standing over Lucera, but you can't see Lucera's body. And you can uh, you can hear the threat behind, behind his words. So no one can actually see Lucera, but they know she's there? Yeah, you got, yeah, you, uh, Lucera was there, now she's on the floor. You, they can imagine. And now she's not. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, maybe she's crawling along the floor. <laughs> but anything else, Barney? Um, yeah, as he's saying that, he's going to have the sorcerer, mm -hmm. um, he has a suggestion as a spell, right? He does. Uh, so he's going to use a suggestion on Rocky and say, you should really, you should really surrender. Just give me a hot second. Does the suggestion automatically fail if you're, uh, in a battle with someone? Like, already fighting? You suggest a course of action. No. He suggests a surrender. If you want to roll a wisdom save for me, it'd be against 10. I'm not very wise, so we'll see how he goes. Oh! He got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you, you hear his suggestion, um, but like, you don't, you, you don't feel the magic behind his words. And you, he, you can feel there's not much conviction between, behind what he's saying as well. Uh, Rocky. So if you want to retort to that, you can. Uh, anything else, Barney? That's it. No worries. Let's, uh, I mean, love it. Sorry, go on. Uh, what were you going to say, Rocky? I was going to say, I mean... It, do I, should we surrender? I mean, she's kind of... Our, our friend, you know, is not in a good place. And I feel like maybe it might be a good idea. Uh, I'm putting that out there. Carry on, everybody. Y'all do what you do. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, I'm in the process of um, So I have a, I have a question. Um, Sorry, it is your turn, by the way. Yeah, uh, how knowledgeable I am about him being able to shoot a Sarah? You just, you've. I would say you know the Sarah is in that general direction, but you don't know where she is now. And seeing Barney rush away. The way he did. It kind of reminds me of like how General yeah. Grievous would just scurry away frantically. Um, I'd say you could get you could you he you can you can there's there's. I mean, if I can, very I was probably man. freaking out. Yeah, you can. You can. I'd imagine <laughs> She's look... probably just being like, "Wait, stop, please!" and just like actually freaking out. How? How is Law reacting to this? Like, how like is she being audible about it, or is is, is she like? She's is... yeah. She's probably like saying stuff. <laughs> mm. She's probably like immediately like wait wait. <laughs> mm, you could uh, you'll you'll be able to hear Low, just muttering, um, please. Like it's probably quite shrill. <laughs> mm. Also, you guys want to might want to hide Thank you. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm confused because I, I was thinking about something as a player, but I don't know like how Lo-Fi Boy like understands it or not. Well, what was like, So he didn't did wait did he recharge his bullet yeah, things he, or not? He'd have loaded he it as, he, I, as he as oh, he as oh oh dang! And I probably saw that. Okay, so the threat is very real. Okay, cool. That changes how <laughs> I see things. Um. Um, uh, uh, um, am I able to talk to to everyone else? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can, you can, you can make, you can make words. You've, you've heard Rocky like suggest surrendering, maybe. 
but he's also not convinced mm. behind it as well. gestures to the north to like the clearing where he can see you from the ship okay okay and um i, I just do that um i i i move i move over there all right um i i moved anything else and the and the rest of you <laughs> they'll, they'll get the chance Anything else, Lofi boy? Um, Sarah, if you can hear me hanging there, um, we're we're gonna get you out of this. Just don't. If you see a light at the end of the tunnel, don't don't go towards it. <laughs> <laughs> if low, if you'd want to roll, um, no, Sarah, can roll a death, death save. Uh, basically. Uh, you see where your hit points are um, on your sheet, Sophie? Uh, wait, what? Sorry, what do you want me to look at? If you look on your sheet, you'll see your hit points, uh, where it says minus four. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, current minus four. Yeah, if you look down to death saves, it's on the bottom right uh, side of like that little box. Yeah. Uh, if you click the words death save. Ooh! Ah. You succeed twice. <laughs> you... Oh, did I make? Did I quit twice? Or yeah, no, no, no. You, you, you succeeded. That's all you. That's all you can do on your turn right now. I mean, you could. My words. You could probably. Yeah, you'd be able to crawl. She stabilized. No, it gives you two plus two uh, to your death saves. Oh, I thought a net twenty was like. Hmm. Your. That might be, that might be a yeah. homebrew rule, but I. I... I'm pretty sure it's you get you get two successes. It is two successes, yeah. Mm. I don't mind. Mm. Yeah, the best, <laughs> best place, right? Yeah, fucking hell. Um, you can crawl, uh, Lucera, and you can like make you can mumble words. Um, the most you can move is five feet, Lucera. Well, be careful. <laughs> I'm just trying to like pull herself like um. Towards, I don't know, the creek. It's a danger, but she can't really do much. Mm. Like, are, you, like, are you trying to lift yourself up onto, or are you trying to like crawl under the plank? Well, I mean, I don't think she would be able to lift herself up. I mean, if she could, she might try. Yeah, you're right. I'd say yeah. You like you just got you just crawl further into just the creek. Near it. Like, One, you can see sense. her just trying to crawl away. Rocky, what would you like to do? <clears throat> okay, so. He wants us. Oh, whoa, whoa. My roll 20 decides to poop out. Give me a it's second. Okay. It's okay. I love if you want to prepare your turn as well. Okay. Um. So he, he wants us to kind of hang out over here with lo fi boys, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is being frustrating. It's okay. Uh, I keep trying to like scroll on roll 20, but if I do it too fast and it just like backspaces me, oh, damn. I might like my last page and stuff. So like. We can, we, can, we can share screen fine. if you want. Nah, it's not a big of a deal. Um, mm. oh, this is such a fun, fun little predicament. I guess I will. Uh, I, I turn to uh, to Pymira. Hey, uh, do you think? Do you think? Should I fight? Should I leave? What, what should I do? Okay. 
Okay. So should I, so I should surrender for now then? Yes, sorry, I, I, I'm very deaf. Huh? Yes, don't die. <laughs> yes, don't die. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to begin to walk over. Yeah, uh, but don't step in the puddles though. No, no, no. I, I'm walking over here, like, in between these two puddles, and then I'll walk 20 feet this way. Not to touch the puddle. Mm -hmm. I can move. You'll have to move around it. Uh, you can, like, tiptoe. Yeah. If, like, if it doesn't take the entire square, you'll be able to tiptoe around it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, my goal was to here, and then kind of, like, around here. Mm -hmm. Just end up Maybe here. Yeah, it's perfect. Cool. You, uh, you can watching, um, watching them, Barney. You'll see Rocky make his way as well. The um, the sorcerer t looks uh, at his captain and unsure what to do. He just, he just, he just asks, "What shall I do, Captain?" Well, be prepared to f send an attack if they pull anything. And you see uh, in his uh, hands just some um, those blue ruins form again. And he just watches you, Rocky, as you walk past. Lower your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Lo is like. She's gonna like put her hands out and just be like. She is basically pleading at this point, and she's like, please don't hurt her. Can I please just, like, heal her, please? I won't let her hurt you or anyone here. I just don't want her to die. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt anyone. You forced me into this. So you're going to follow instructions or you're going to lose her. I just want it to stabilize her. <laughs> TP. TP. <laughs> and then I will go and do what you say. <laughs> I can't trust you anymore. Um, I don't know how to get off this boat. Do I just need to get off the back? Yeah, you could uh, you could go through the crawl space that you made your way through. Oh. So would be yeah. Can I avoid the puddle? <laughs> yeah, I'd say you're small enough to be able to walk around it. Um, he'd be able to see everyone from up top. Like, who can he actually see? Oh, he is. He's tiny. I forget. Because he would, it, he would have quite a bit of difficulty. Like the only one who could <laughs> even in death, she's that, roasting but... him. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy can't catch a break. <laughs> but um, he'd have to climb up onto something to see. But but they'd have to also con continue to convince them that he's still got the hostage. Yeah, it's it's an interesting situation. Yeah. Um, seeing your command uh, on the sorcerer, they uh, this uh, pirate's going to ready his action, and so is the other uh, the other pirate's going to actually load their axe cannons back up. Primer, it's your turn. <laughs> How high up is the boat? Like right here. Give me a second. Like where they are? Like how far off the ground? That one is like maybe like that's like the boat is flat on the ground if that makes sense. Only the back of it's like being crushed deep into it. While this part is up is uh, about like, ten feet high. Okay. Does that make sense? Alright, so Chimera's gonna kinda put her hands up and be like, okay. I am 
walking around the puddles because there are lots and it's mm -hmm. really sketchy and I don't want to step in the stuff so I'm just gonna kind of move around like this and then she's gonna hop like here and right in the corner and call was that too much? Was that too far? No, no, that's perfect. You just just reached enough. You trying to hide or? Nope. Okay. Uh, then she's gonna call to Queen, mm -hmm. who is gonna move right here. <laughs> yeah. Would would the ready actions get triggered by her going where she's not supposed to go? She, I'd let her tiptoe around if they're not. Um... Oh shit, yeah, you're right. There is a roll for me a dex uh, check. Keen eye. Keen eye, Captain. Me? Yeah, please. Yeah, they are watching oh, her to be fair. You want me to roll a dex check? Uh, no, just a Pimera. Oh. Just see is if it like... a save or just a check? Just a check. You'd be able to tiptoe around and keeping your feet away from any other puddles. Okay. Um. And then <gasps> we're gonna teleport. <laughs> um, so I'm not exactly sure where she is. So basically, it's any thing, like any person within. Oh, I guess she would technically be closer to me, but anything within a five foot like radius. Mm like a willing creature, she can teleport. Yeah. Queen is so, just out of range. If you, if you that's what I'm to... saying. So is she... Actually... Because she's like... She's right on the cross of those squares. Yeah, she so is. She's she on all actually... four of them. I don't actually know where she is. <laughs> I'm going to say... Because I really like that idea. I'm going to say... Lucera is a hair in place. If she wanted to... If she was, if she was willing to be teleported, I'd say. Okay, um... Lacera, do you trust me? Yeah. <laughs> Great, we're gonna pick her up. <laughs> so, Queen will be able to teleport me and her uh, 15 feet. So, uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want me to go this way and then this, like, where... I'd say in a straight line. Actually... It'd be in like a, in a radius, wouldn't it? So yeah, fifteen feet. Um, like where you feel? Here. Um. Yeah, that's alright. Because if it, I don't want to go there. Mm. I don't. I guess here is that too diagonal for you? <gasps> no, no, that'd be fine. Diagonal. I'm like, I'm happy with diagonals. It wouldn't be a problem. I think. Right here. Okay. Yeah. So then, yeah. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna snatch that bitch. <laughs> And we're gonna back up out of the space. <laughs> Queen, um, you see when you after like you made your little plan in your head and you've and you see it's all going in motion. Queen lets go of a feather, and this feather lands perfectly on one of Lucera's hairs. And the moment it touches Lucera's hair, Queen just bursts into a wave of fire. Uh, Barney, you almost get blind. You get blinded slightly by this. Uh, Pimera and Lacera, you both feel a wave of heat just wash over you both. And Lacera, you feel your body move from hard wood to soggy wet ground. Oh, I, also has like to make soft wipes. I was going to say you're going to have to make a death, uh, deck save for me, Lacera, and same with you, Pimera. I think. Uh. Yeah, each there. creature. So yeah, you'd have to make um, a deck save. Would I have to make? Oh a no, deck it's save? um within the space that they left. So he has to make. A oh, he has save. to make one. Yeah, she's fine. Oh shit! Yeah, neat. Barney, roll a deck save. All right. Would those um poor people have to make a deck save? If, oh yeah, yeah. If, if you're if you're if you're dead, I mean, if you're knocked out and you're making a dex dead save, dex save, I think you just default fail, and you uh, uh, and you lose a, a death save. 
Thank God I don't have to do one, right? <laughs> Unless I do. Now nah, you're, you're safe. So five points of damage. <laughs> it, uh, this um, wash of fire just like singes you, Barney. Um, and you just... <laughs> And you see that your uh, as soon as like your eyes um, adjust, you see that your hostage is dis is is gone, and that so fiery bird has disappeared. Bless you. And he points at Primera, and he's like, "Get her!" They all turn towards You've Primera. Got an almost limp, like um, the fair, like not able to help. Look, I don't appreciate you trying to kill my friends. Okay, mm -hmm. so. I'd say, seeing as like they readied in action, I'll say like they'll all be able to make a move movements towards Lucera as well. I mean, not Lucera, sorry, uh, Primera. I did what now? And uh, the uh, the pirates will add ready actions to move towards you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna. Move. I'll move uh, in while you uh, you guys are doing. That. I'm gonna get the music going again. And I think is there anything else you want to do, Primera? Um. Okay, I didn't really. I didn't take my action, but I, oh, sorry. it was already her turn, so it's fine. Oh no, no, no! It's like if you haven't taken the action, like, like because you didn't say your turn ended. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna. Uh, the pirates wouldn't have moved until turn. until your turn ended. Yeah, go on. Uh, that would bring it just up to one hit, hit point, wouldn't it? That's fine. Leave my baby. <laughs> this is for you, low. So Sarah, you can. You and just also like... Lucero, so you're not dead. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Lucero, you. you feel like you've um, you felt like you were in water for a minute, and you felt like you were traveling down a uh, river, but then, as soon as you hit the ground, you felt like you like <sighs> your spirit moved towards the land, uh, the river uh, edges. And as soon as your foot uh, touched the ground, you open your eyes and you are on the floor, see Queen looking down at you and Primera standing above you. And you feel her, like, warmth uh, stabilizing you. Thanks. Thanks, Primera. I, 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 I don't know. I, I think I can fight. I can help. Well, I, they're about to fuck us up, so you better, you know, if you're going to live, you got to do it now. <laughs> but you're welcome. Uh, Yes, thank you. Uh, desperate message me meshes for desperate times, I guess. She's holding, uh, she, I don't know if she has it or not, but she kind of like drags her, uh, her heavy, um, skitter out that I forget the name of. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Barney, it'd be your turn. Uh, the sorcerer isn't going to move too close. So the sorcerer kind of wants to stay on the high ground, while the other, um, the tiefling, is going to follow the other pirate. Okay. They make their so way. He's not going to use the ready to attack. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Sorry. If I, who do you want me to target? Primera. Assume... Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to see Primera, and he's going to launch a rare frost towards you, Primera. The seventeen hit. Yeah. You see this beam of just ice charge towards you, hitting you um, on your right uh, shoulder, and you feel it just frost over. Come here. Dealing four cold damage, and you, you feel it just frosting over you, and it kind of makes you feel like you're uh, just like holding you in place almost, and making it a bit more difficult to move. Your speed has to be reduced by 10 feet. Oh, that didn't feel good. Okay. Bonnie, your turn. Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna absolutely like skitter down the ore again, like General Grievous, as you said. Mm. <laughs> um, does the does the bird actually occupy that space, or did, like you'd be able to step into that space with it? Okay. It's like the bird's in the air. Yeah, she's like in the air. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. Then he comes charging at her, uh, swinging his sword and firing his gun. <laughs> <laughs> This man crazy. Yes. Yeah, do I get like, rude? 
Do I get oh, any oh. kind of reaction because he just like blasted into my melee oh. space? No. I want to. Um, I want. I don't know if I I'm can do it. I'm gonna say in the state. no. Oh, okay. okay. I wanted to do the. Da, 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 da. I keep forgetting what it is. The inter yeah. intervention. Um, thing. Intervention. Yeah. Um. Let me check on that for a second. Uh, is that against Pyro? Uh. Yeah. Um. Because uh, it's within five feet of you. No. 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 Uh, uh, Barney. Yes, towards... he's attacking Pymera. Yeah, you'd just having jumped off the um, the orb. You're trying to create. You 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 kind of look like a, kind of wanting to look like a badass in front of your crew. Maybe wanna wanna show how big you are. And jumping off, you're gonna go for a slash, but being slightly out of reach due to how uh, short your sword is, you just miss um, and land right in front of her though. But um, you can like reflex this tiny man. Try again. <laughs> I'd actually say, actually instead of um, instead of like uh, you getting disoriented, sorry, Lacera kind of like pulls a scythe and try and pulls you almost out of the air just slightly, and just knocks you off. Um, not uh, not causing you to like just causing you just to miss. Um, fair enough. Oh, Falarinx makes a good point. I have, I have inspiration, don't I? <laughs> you do have inspiration. All right, let's re-roll same, same with you, Rocky. Oh, that's worse. Yep. Oh, okay. Says the boy, says the tiny man. <laughs> okay, well, then how about this? And he raises his other hand and fires. Oh, and you, you do get, um, you do get, uh, what's it called? Pimera. But, like, as uh, Lacera is still holding on, she pulls you just a bit more, and... As you pull to you, drop your sword. Oh, you know, that's not inspirational. I'm thinking disadvantage. Sorry, my mistake. Ignore that. Um, so, yeah, if you do roll your damage. Um... Okay. There we go. Oh, dang. Palmer, you just feel chunks of your armor just break off and expose your shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, he then calls out to the axe wielding pirate over there and says, Fire! He is going to fire oh. towards Pymera. And he does Fair hit Pymera. Enough. No! Dealing five damage, knocking Pymera down as well now. Well, um... <laughs> Are you ready to give up? I'm not quite ready. I... You, you really don't want me to use use this. She, she motions to her uh, Bill Rose. You, you, I don't know if you saw what happened to your friend. I don't know but... if you will see what's going to happen to her if you do. Or you, perhaps. Well, I then we're in a don't... stalemate. I will, I will use it. And if they'll shoot don't... her. Hmm. Is uh is uh Queen able to act on anything? I'm gonna like see something? if Queen is I don't know if Queen will fall. What happens uh, to Queen? Queen's around oh, for until an hour. yeah, until you die. So like he's still Queen, sorry, she's still up. Yeah, she's still up. Queen will only act on Pymera's turn though. So now low five boy? Uh, you haven't got a clue what's happening. Pymera's gonna enter rage, I think, maybe. No, I don't have a clue what happened. Yeah, you, got, like, you, you can only hear what's going on. You see that like Queen did a thing, and Barney rushed off the boat. Okay, now play it cool. Don't hurt her. I don't. I don't necessarily. You can want hear Lacera struggling want to with diplomacy. I, yeah. Okay, I'm still gonna enter rage because I'm, I'm like, I, I, hearing Lacera's back and that Pamela's silent. I, I. I... I'm not having it. I'm like, I moved all the way over here. What's happening? And as I'm saying that, I'm entering rage. <laughs> Is there any chance um, um, Lucera can like try to cure wounds on um, with Pamera? When it's your turn, you'll be able to. When you've it's got, my turn, yeah. You you have um, after learning. Um, you you lay on yeah. hands. Barnabas, my... what the hell is going on? Your friends are still attacking. Um, uh, so, Lo-Fi, you need to get that, that top one, that, that high, the high one. 
please. No, no, wait. If we keep attacking, they're gonna kill us. We're clearly not very well uh, organized right now. Uh, if we... Barnabas, do you, do you accept my movement uh, towards closer to you or not? Any so aggressive action will mean more attacks. I just want to convince Lacerra to stop, please. I just, I just need to help Pymera. I, I I'm gonna lose my rage. <laughs> you lose your rage. <laughs> she needs, she needs help. I need to help her. She's helped me, I need to help her. Yeah. Um... We need okay. help. We need a, we need medical attention. Uh, can I roll insight to know if like like if Barnabas is really just reacting to us doing something like that? Like if that's truthful, I guess. I don't know. I'd ask I mean I'd ask if you want to roll into I'd say it'd be more so on on the ten, the tension. Uh, I'd say it'd be on the tension of the uh, of the setup. How how tense it would be for you guys? I think. Like so. so right. The tension of this. What do you mean? As in, like, how serious would his intentions be, and like, how tense is it for you as a party? Like with Lucera being where she is, and like uh. not wanting to stand down. Yeah, she doesn't very particularly want to send out. <laughs> so, let me, I guess, just roll it and then see what it's information I get or not. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's rough, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you could try rolling a persuasion and see if Lacera tries to listen or... Okay. Or is that possible? Yeah, you can try, yeah, you can try possible? Persuade. You can try persuade, no, I mean, Sarah. All She's right. not likely to, and she doesn't particularly want to. She has a next plan of action, but it's not particularly attacking. But so, yeah, that's a very... I'm gonna, yeah. Well, Sarah, please stand down and let's get out of here. We have other priorities. Please, 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 please. Uh, uh, you don't have to just say please like that. Can I, can I like, help in a way to persuade her? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say yeah. You you'd be able to like make some make a few calls with uh, with Lofi boy. I, I don't want to. These people they've taken these hostages and we can't just leave them like this. You don't know I half the story. You don't know what they've done. Then tell us what they've done. done. Cause you, you didn't were give me the opportunity. Us. You stuck your nose where it doesn't belong and then you threatened us. And I need. You, You're outmatched. You Take your wounded us. and go. But can we take the hostages? No. Why? Why? Explain yourself. Just, just tell us. Just tell us. Or I can just keep attacking. Why? Let it go. Leave the, we'll come back for the hostages at some other point. Just. Just. We, we can't. Like. Please. Please. Okay, I just. All right, I. It, is Pymera unconscious? Like, yeah, Pymera's yeah, Pymera unconscious. I. Okay, I'll do this because I we need to get help. Um. I don't want to get everyone killed. I. I really, really don't want to do this, but I guess it's no choice. I. She tries to put her weapon away. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'd i like to stand down. Just, just let us go away, please. He, yeah, he, he steps aside and gestures to where the rest of the party is. You can go. Uh, can I just heal my friend just while you're aside, I guess? Well, like, like your wounds, you know? I think you should carry her over there and then do it. Okay. Just, just tries to... I won't, um... Uh, 
Yeah. If, if you want to pick up uh, Pymera, I won't. You don't need to roll strength. I'd say you're you're fa you're fairly capable of being able to pick up yeah. Sean. You've shown your strength before. Um. And hold like. In just, just like, like how how is how is Osera feeling as she's walking across, carrying Pymera's uh, unconscious body? Um. So she's just. She's really kind of not feeling. Oh, she's she's feeling very protective. Um, she she knows she has a purpose, and she's suppressing her her fighting instinct. She just wants. She she realizes she's realized from what um, like uh, Rocky and Lo-Fi saying that she needs to prioritize. And she she's fighting her fighting instinct. She's like, I need to get out of here. So she's getting this surge of power from telling herself that she's just using that to carry uh, Pymera away if she can. But she's not in the best condition, but she's she's mm. carrying her. Yeah, you're doing your best to hold yourself and her up. Yeah, and... like uh, like by by um. Kind of like you know, when uh, you're breaking someone, you're putting her shoulder mm. around yes. there, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's just kind of yeah, pulling her with her because uh, she's got her weapons away. Um, keeping an eye out for where Queen is, but she she's not. She wants to just yeah get out of there, so she heads towards the others in the I guess open area. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we should go, I guess. You guys make your way there, and like, Lo comes up um, beside you. Um, yeah. And just gives you like a nod to like reassure you that it was okay. And then you feel, as she like, she hold, uh, she goes to like hold your hand. And um, you feel warmth just uh, perpetrate from her hand. And you, through the jing uh, the comfort that the jingled up her bells give, you feel uh, you're recovering from, um, as, like, although like not emotionally recovering from this little encounter, you've just you've yeah. got to the head, but physically you feel your body. Uh, yeah. It's like uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lofi, I'm sorry, Lo, I'm sorry, Rocky, Timer, it, it just, I, I don't, I don't like leaving things. I, we, yeah, we should should go before I ch change my mind. Quick. Uh -huh. Queen kind of lands on her shoulder and like nuzzles her face. Mm. Hi, Queen. While this just... is sorry, go on. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. That's it. Bro. Is Barney gonna allow them just to walk away? Yeah, he absolutely is. In fact while they're having this moment you can hear him yelling in the background orders to his men like you go get that one that ran off you guys start repairing the ship and bring this stuff on board <laughs> you oh, get a teleportation spell ready we're going well, i guess we'll uh can i we'll meet them again hmm? we'll hopefully meet them again when we're stronger fight them again i don't know maybe we can just find out why they're keeping people um, yeah. I, I need to heal Pymer, uh, mm. You guys, you guys can make your way like um, to a, like a clearing. You, you you guys walk for like a few um, a few minutes until you can stop hearing Barney, and you find this uh, empty clearing that could be perfect for a campsite. Um, I just I just place like this. Um, you, 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 the, the, um, you guys probably would just head in just as far away from them as you could, so you probably head in uh, the direction that you are currently walking in. I'll oh, get the music changed. Something a bit more fitting. So, wait, what's hit dice again? It's, um, so when you take a short rest, you can roll hit dice to basically rest, uh, see how much health you can restore in that little, um, as you guys are just like re making a quick little rest. Um, okay. 
What level am I in that again? You won't be able to roll hit dice just yet. I mean, unless you guys want you guys want to take a short rest or long rest. Oh no, doing. no, I just wanted to roll um the the cure wounds. Oh yeah, uh, you it'd just be five. Um, you 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 heal by five. Uh, oh. You don't get cure wounds. You uh, have uh, lay on hands. Oh uh, yeah, lay on hands. Actually, you might have. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the page. Just give me out a second. Says I have your words. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me just. Let me just. Just give me out a second, please. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's, 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 okay. it's, not, it's, it's more so on me. Like I'm trying to like multitask, and I. <laughs> I am notoriously <laughs> bad at multitasking. <laughs> this is the wrong tab. Sarah. Um, I have a question. Far away. You'd, you'd be stabilized by Is the by little now. rip in the world gonna stay on their boat, or does it stay in the space that it, like, is in? The... Is there gonna be, like, a hole in the boat for any... when, it, when it freezes again? <laughs> you guys wouldn't know. It's just gonna sink. I mean, um, we won't know. <laughs> if you... When the boat raises, will it get sucked into the hole? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who will I mean, maybe the part that it, it raises into that area, that space, and then they just have a hole in the boat, and they're like, "Fuck, why can't we replace this?" Maybe they're just going to be teleported something somewhere else, random, <laughs> even more random. Uh, maybe at the top of the mountain. That, that That's a be. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like at the top of the mountain, so then they can have like a nice little slide down into the ocean. Um. Secondary question: Is the giant hole in the cave still expanding? <laughs> you wouldn't yeah, know that one either. You know, it, last, time, last, time you, last time you looked, it was expanding, but you don't it know how far. I it's... asked about that at the beginning. Yeah, uh, when you last went, like you did, you didn't reach the doorway, but it reached halfway up the tunnel. Right. Yeah. So it, it, it is growing. Was... You just don't know. This how. is right on the edge of that cliff, though, right? No, you guys have been walking for maybe a few hours. Oh, okay. I thought this was right on the edge of that cliff. Hmm. You guys have been going for maybe, like... I'd say maybe, like, oh, wow. five, six hours a walk away. Oh, okay. And, like, this, it's... By the time you guys have reached this campsite, you see the moon um, coming up and the sky becomes purple. As you guys are, um... As the sun... As night has fallen. Am I still? Uh, you'd, uh, you'd be uh, um, stabilized, and Lucera would be um, uh, applying cure wounds to you. I won't like ask you to roll for cure wounds because like I, I just take you guys are gonna have a long rest anyway. Mm. And so I don't think you guys will be. Um... We'll just get like get her to a stable condition, then the sleeping and stuff gets a rest done. Hmm. Yeah. Is there anything you guys <laughs> want, would want to do at camp? Oh, while well, you guys are just looking at what you want to. Discuss anything. Oh, oh, um, um, yeah, before everyone goes to sleep, can we have a little talk? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Um, so, about what happened. Can we try, when we see, like, with Sarah, I, I know, I know you you were meaning well mm -hmm. to go... And, and Lonico, you too! And I, I stare at Lonico. Um, um, I, I just... I, I feel okay. like we should be a bit more uh, um, organized when dealing with uh, situations with that are, like, difficult. Just at um. least in our, like... Um, how, how, where we're placed. And we're very much all spread out and... I, I was really afraid to lose one of you and- oh, Wait, no, I don't cry. Uh, um, I'm not crying, it's okay. I don't want- I don't want that. We're smarter than that. We can't do better than that. I- I- I don't want us to- to- to get hurt for no reason. And, and I think- I think if we- we think ahead of time, um, or- or just not jump in by ourselves or just uh um whisper to each other our plans i just want that i, I would I just want to, i just don't want to be left alone and be alone again oh it's okay you don't have to cry we'll never leave you robot man 
Can we promise each other to at least try to communicate a bit more our intentions to each other? Because this this was very difficult. I, I, and... I will say, uh, Lo, um, she she doesn't she doesn't say anything, but she um, she just nods in agreement, and she um, she looks to be very shaken, having seen Lucero also be. Um, Having gone through what she did. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't. I um. Well. So. You know, sometimes we can do things, and uh, I guess. I guess we're all kind of crazy in some way, but I just. I don't. I don't want us to put ourselves in any more danger than we have to. That's it. I am not going to be talking about this forever, but yeah. Okay, uh, I mean, I really think that we should help things like this, but perhaps we could, I guess, make progress on this by not immediately approaching the situation. We could review it before we go into it, hostile and non-hostile, because I, I think one way I, I might have slipped up as well was going straight in to, to talk to them, because we can't discuss whether they're hostile or not hostile, or what to do with them in front of them, because then if they are, then we're kind of, kind of, you know, not not prepared. Uh -huh. So I, I agree. It's just I think it's very important to sort these out and I, I wish to help those kind of people that were in trouble. Uh -huh. I don't know if these people were telling the truth. I mean, for all we knew the hostage, hostages could have been I, I guess not good. It could have been. But they could also have been people that could have benefited from our help. It, it is a hard one to to know, but you're right that I guess... Well, he did say that it was his job to transport mm. people. So mm. that would mean that, you know, they either are taking people or they are maybe bounty hunting, but still, um, that was not very nice of them, especially when he lost the sing off, okay? Like, rude. <laughs> and, um, he got oh, so mad. Did you get your head back after you fell? Are you okay? Wait, sorry, oh, yeah. head fell off. I got it. Oh, I, I picked it up, did right? You, yeah. Did you? Yeah, you, you, you did it back. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Just a pirate's walking around with Rucky's hat on. The one, uh, Rucky's hat, because he said back. it was cool. <laughs> I would go back. I don't care how many people are going to end up dying. I ain't getting that hat back. Your robes Sorry, would be <sighs> messed up as well, actually, because, like, the new robes you got from the temple. Because of all the, the attacks you had at you. Um, you yeah. did get beat pretty bad, Rocky. Yeah, you might need we, to get um, you some new supplies. Do we, like, regrow it, or... Pick up some more and stick it on. Like how no, do we? I, 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 I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We could get it's... a chisel and make a new face from. You think? No, I like his face. <laughs> Please don't take a chisel to any part of my body. I would. I would. I think I would leave in a heartbeat and never it's come okay, back. It's okay, Rocky. It's okay. I'm joking. I won't. We won't do that to you. We'll find a way. Um, he just slap some glue on with some ro oh, with rocks. No. <laughs> I'm um, also joking. And with, um, as like the sun begins to set, um, you guys will be able to rest and like ha make camp and like just uh, rest up. And as you guys are, are preparing yourselves, you hear the recognizable sound of a thunderclap. And, um, you just hear like this whooshing, roaring noise coming from where you just walked 
from from where you were fighting, coming in that general direction. Well, uh, I hope they end up in the sea. Um, Preferably the bottom of it. Um, do we know if they found that guy who got away? Because if not, we could probably go try to save him. Oh, save him from not. what? <laughs> I think well, I mean, like, hi. Not, not the dead guy. Put, the one put. that you, like, food, But, like, the little one who, yeah. like, ran away. Yeah. I'll say, Beth, uh, Sarah, could you two roll perception to see... Okay, let's say I'm going to say no perception for you, actually, now. Uh... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Primera, could you roll oh. a perception for me? Oh, let's say I got... Uh, you roll with disadvantage, perception. Let's say Primera? Disadvantage. You get um, a normal perception check for me. To see if you notice that one getaway. Because he popped out right behind us, right? Uh, you, he, uh, he, he well, would no, but also no, he, he yelled. Moved. Like, when he was yelling to all the crew, was... he was like, You two, go find that one that ran away! Yeah, um... Or however Shanks Yeah, but Bar Bar <laughs> Barney did, uh, <laughs> make the roll. I'm very um, confused. What does this mean? Basically, there was a, a, one of the Hobbit, the one that was gagged still, uh, tried to crawl away and hopped into the portal. Oh, and yeah, And made his way. Him. And, um... I'm gonna say you two didn't see him appear there where he did. You guys were too focused on Barney yeah. trying to kill you. Not dying. Yeah, and but you did you you were confused when you heard about the one that got away. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't Barney noticed he ran away. I think oh no, it's just Barney mom. There, Barney mom noticed. Barney uh, Barney had his wits about him while you guys were extremely stressed. But um, yeah. I'm gonna end the session there um, with night falling and you guys getting some rest and licking your wounds. You guys will gain some XP for that because although you might not have won the fight, you learnt from those experiences that you had. And um, I hope you, you guys have had two a... people. <laughs> I hope you guys have had. A, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah you... almost almost three. Oh my god, Rocky as well. I forget. Um, yeah, we had to stop while we lose everyone. <laughs> um, but with that, I'm going to end the session there. Um, thank you, um, Dan, for following. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Bojangles. Uh, Nate for uh, subscribing. Anograv, Ace and the Bees. Uh, Ocelot, um, 1278 uh, for following as well. Thank you guys for hanging out. This session was um, having been like... having We haven't played for a month, so I was very much like um unfocused at points like i feel like i wasn't focused on chat as much as i could but i appreciate you guys uh still being as funny as you were and talking and just engaging with the session because it was a very fun session and thank you shanks for um for playing barnabas um and uh you should check him out he's a wonderful person a wonderful um a wonderful dm and just amazing and he plays um he dms for uh top down tabletop and i'll shout those guys out, shout them out again um i'll show you guys now so anything you guys want to say about uh, about the session or anything uh yeah great job ja um shanks thank you very much that was really cool thanks shanks it's a great character <laughs> thank you <laughs> mm. um oh uh also um another thing Thank you guys for this chaotic session. Thank you for hanging out, Frankie. I appreciate that. It was wonderfully chaotic and very tense, very scary, but very, very much fun. It was nice to get back into things with, it, with this one. I spelled it wrong. I wrote tabletop top down. So top down tabletop. There we go. Um. Uh, last thing I want to say: if you'd like to, um. Feel free to subscribe or pledge to our Patreon if you'd like to. Uh, if you if you do, you'll be able to get um, some behind the screen stuff, uh, such as uh, token art, map art done by Flower, who does all our uh, battle maps and um, token art. Uh, you'll also be able to get access to little. Um, you might get sti uh, merch stickers like uh, right this month we've got Lowe's sticker out, and there's a little uh, po mini print of the uh, Takashi Ta Takahashi Temple um, print out, as if it was like a Polaroid. Uh, snap taken by the party um, and you can also uh, take part in prepping um, sessions such as uh, a lot of this session was 
prepared by um, the people that hung. Oh, well, thank you for for the gift Jesus. of subs, Vix. Oh, wow. thank you, thank you, uh, Vix. I hell appreciate. It. <laughs> thank you for the hop, Nori Sam. Um, over there, uh, you get um, what's it called? What's the word? You'll be able to like. We had Frankie, Sam, uh, Royal Maps, uh, and AJ, and a few of uh, a few other people uh, come by. Uh, who basically helped uh, plan the the whole encounter, and, like Barnabas's uh, the ideas we had for Barnabas's character, even um, even Bill Ray's the effects, Bill Ray's special effects were influenced by those session preps that we have every um, every week. Ideally, we did have we haven't had one for a few weeks, so we're hoping to get one going in the next uh, next few days to make up for that. And. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, hanging out. Thank you guys for supporting. And even if you've been lurking as well, I we appreciate you guys watching and just enjoying our vibes. It's it means the world to me. Thank you. And you guys want to say anything? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We shall uh, let you know when next session's planned. Uh, if you join the Discord, you'll be able to keep up to date with that. Um, I'm not sure we'll have another session uh, in the next, we might have one in the next two weeks maybe, but I don't think it's too likely, I think everyone's got some plans. Uh, but we do have a Halloween, two Halloween one-shots coming up, well, one Halloween session, uh, which will be with the group, and a one Halloween one-shot, which will include Vix Drawers, uh, Maritime Gamers, and um, Family Fantasy RPG, um, and there's someone else I'm forgetting. Dr. Scarlet Cullen! Pink. Dr. Cullen, yeah. And that'll be really fun, it's gonna be, uh, a night in the Fey Wild Wild West. So if you guys want to come and have a route into it in spooky time, uh, keep an eye on that. that. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be the twenty fourth of October. Mm. Yeah. So if you join the Discord to keep up to date, um, you can also find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Katsadm. Uh, you can find everyone else uh, on their socials. Sam streams. Um, well, every now and then, but. Um, when he does, he's, he even when he doesn't though, he's, he's always around supporting in the Discord and such. Uh, we have uh, Sophie. I can't remember what you command. I think it's Spoofy. Is it Spoofy? Well, we it is No, it's Sophie. I think. Yeah. Thank so you. Uh, Sophie does R and she also streams and she's uh, yeah. done some cool fan art, which is neat. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, mm. I'm quite busy at the moment, but yeah. Still, it's neat. Uh, there's Georgia who does um, who makes jewelry and she also does art and you can find her on Instagram and um, Etsy. You can um, you can also find her on Twitter as well. Someone Ooh. posting art. Thank you guys for encouraging my personal brand of chaos. It was wonderful. I I, I enjoyed the tension the tension you brought. It was a fun time. It was great. Thank you again. Uh, this Beth um, she makes maps over at Instagram. Uh, um, I have That's a Instagram link. But I think you can find it on her uh, Twitch. And she also does stuff with the Turtle Guild as the owner of it. Yeah. And that's pretty neat. And there is Colin. I'm sorry, Jacob. Jacob, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking man. sorry. I am so What the heck? I am so sorry. <laughs> There's Jacob who does um, podcasts and he also streams and he also does art and he's hella cool and you can find me at his uh, dude's name link tree and you can find me as piper or is it the seventh piper now or what you, um or are you on instagram currently uh it's just piper over the now mm -hmm. okay. yeah the most talented bunch of dnd players thank you sam that's very sweet of you to say we have a wonderful cast with us um thank you guys again for watching thank you guys for playing i hella appreciate it uh we shall see you on tomorrow's stream if you'd like to come by i'm doing some art um, but if I don't catch you on the next stream, hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And yeah, bye. 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 bye, bye.